Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, no, I, I, I can handle operating a simulated nuclear reactor with very few tutorials. I can turn it on. I can turn it on, dude. I can turn it on, dude. I can turn it on. I can make it work. I can make it work. Dude. Chat. It's going to be fine. You get this fun robot buddy who takes you to all the different stations when you don't know what to do and says, I do this one. And then you turn it on and then it doesn't work. It's going to be a fun stream. If I do one thing wrong, we die. If I do one thing wrong, a big siren starts blasting and I have a couple minutes to fix it before I die. Dude, the actual description on Steam, like the the uh, like on the store page for this game, got me so fucking excited to play it on stream. It's rare a game comes along that includes at the very beginning, top in bold text, does this game have a tutorial that teaches you how to operate a nuclear reactor? No. It does not have one and will not have one. The game is a nuclear reactor simulator, and just like flight simulators don't teach you how to fly an actual plane, a nuclear reactor simulator will not teach you how to operate a real reactor. Dude, chat. I'm- this- this whole stream is a metaphor for Twitch's handling of their own site, in many ways. I don't know what I'm doing. And here I am trying to make it work somehow, despite it all. I'm pressing a lot of buttons. I'm shooting a lot of fucking stuff out. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping it's going to spit out some power and some money. Yeah, and if my hero, if my hero, Homer Simpson, whom we all know I speak of very highly, if my hero, Homer Simpson, can use and operate a nuclear reactor, who says I cannot? None says I cannot, because all should say I can. We're gonna be fine. Now, I do need to be clear. Uh, when I was testing, I did a little bit of a test of the game, because obviously I wouldn't turn on a game like this without being like, oh yeah, this will be fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure I nuked myself, uh, with, with a lot of radiation when I clicked activate the generator before it was all turned on. I may have blacked out the entire reactor and plunged myself into darkness and then started feeling really itchy. But, um, I did not follow the instructions that time. This time we'll go more carefully. Okay? This time we'll be much more careful. I am not going to get itchy. I will not be blasted with any kind of radiation. You have my word. Plus, I also do have a guide open on the side just in case. And one of the first things I see on it is just in big caps, good luck. So, um, we're going to be fine. We are not going to die. We are going to power this generator. Yes, I have ticked the button in the options that enables random catastrophic events you have to react to. Yes, it may be difficult to understand what those mean, but that is where we are. We're going to be fine. This is going to go well, I think. I think. I think. Dude, I just like... I swear, dude. These here games, they're made for me, though. They really are. These, these weird ones... I see a bunch of numbers on a wall, 
and a bunch of meaningful meters that I don't understand and I should understand because it's part of the video game, I smile and I say, you done good this time. And then I don't learn what they mean. I just like seeing the dials go up. I don't understand it. I don't get it. The dials should be maxed at all times, right? Well, while I was testing how to, like, play the game, because I wanted to know how it played, obviously, before I started the stream, uh, basically the ignition switch to turn on the reactor was flickering between a green, you're good to go, and a yellow, please don't do it. And essentially, I landed on a logic string of, if I press it when it's green, I'm probably good. So I tried to time it. And I think that's what almost killed me, is that I tried to time the uh, button press to in initiate, <laughs> initiate, <laughs> ign initiate the reactor. And it almost killed me. But I, I, I feel fine now, guys. My, I'm not itchy. My brain doesn't itch anymore. Yo, mods, this will be one of the most highly competitive gambling streams we may ever do. When we get into the game today, we will simply do one gamba of does it turn on? Does he? Turn it on. We'll start with that, because there's a chance I fail on that one. Just just one big gamble. <laughs> I'll figure out the exact terms when we get closer to start up for the game. Because I think maybe does it turn on is a little too easy. Maybe does he kill himself? I think that's a safer guaranteed bet. Does he manage to kill himself by accident? I'm not gonna try to throw. I'm not gonna try. Chaotic wow, thank you for the five gifted subs. Please let us swim in the reactor pool. Well, chat, the reactor's not on yet, so, like, it's gonna be totally safe to swim in that water. It's not on yet. It's that until, until it's on, that's just water in a pool. So we are going to swim. Can I have one of the rods when you're done? Yeah, I don't see why not. I, I don't see why not. You can have one of the rods. Chat. Good news is we're not like alone. We get this like robot AI buddy that operates on a battery power system, <laughs> which I also learned is equally fucked up because he'll just turn off. He's like he's your tutorial guy and he checks maintenance for you when you're on your own on the station because it's like it's a single player game, but there's a lot of stuff you have to do. So you can like give him orders and he'll be like, yes, sir. And he'll like go check and update you on whether or not stuff's working. But he does have a battery life. And at a certain point, he could just turn off. He's kind of like Bonzi buddy. We're gonna be fine. Look, I've got, I've got, the, I've got an actual fucking spreadsheet here. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna pull this open on screen so people know what I've been looking at. I, I, this isn't exactly the one for one <laughs> thing. But it is what is labeled as the beginner's guide. And I think it's fun that you all are informed as well as I am on the current dynamic we are working with today. 
Now, I don't know what any of that means, but we're gonna figure it out. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not like that's the only thing on the page, but apparently that's something I should care about. But I don't know what any of it means. Look, chat. Think about it like this. Back when there were no nuclear reactors, the pioneers of nuclear reactors were doing the same thing I'm doing. Same level of thought process, okay? They were just figuring it out as they went. So I'm kind of more like them. Just ask Chet GPT how to run a nuclear reactor. That's not gonna help me, dude. That's not gonna help me, dude. I don't trust an AI to tell me how to freaking run a nuclear reactor, man. All right, it's all about feeling and emotion. Okay, I am an I am an artist. Okay, uh, this reactor is my canvas, and I will send out some really good power. It's all about, it's all about, you know, running it on, on, on feeling. Is your power ethically coursed? Now what we have here in the reactor today is free range atoms. There is no fucking, there's no graphite in there. This is all free range. We let it walk around. We let it stretch its legs. No graphite. Get it out of here. Non-GMO. All natural radiation. The power grid entirely relies on tomato if it gets fucked up and the entire east coast gets annihilated. Speaking of things that are getting annihilated, my lungs. <sighs> my poor lungs. Dude, those fucking fires are really tearing down now, chat. I, it, the darkness that stretches across my lands. I look at, I look outside at the squirrels and they don't know. They're staring at me from the outside. The sun is shrouded and I cannot breathe. Actually, I feel mostly fine, uh, but uh, some uh, a website told me I was dying if I breathed it, so I stopped. Now I just hold my breath. Dude, I, w I went upstairs today, and I shit you not, every window in my house open. It's like my family doesn't fucking know, like, what's going on. Every window in my house open. The whole place, smelling. Smelling. And I had to fucking walk up there and fucking close all the windows and be like, guys, d you know, right? Like, we, you are all, you all have, like, jobs out there. You know that this is going on. The air quality. You're kind of a bubble boy type, huh? Listen here, cringe lizard. I don't know if you've heard of the Nova Scotian wildfires that are fucking dropping the air quality of the entire East Coast down to a immensely bad level. But it's not really a bubble boy scenario. It's a breathing bad smoky air that fucks up your lungs scenario. Yeah. There's a re it's not like it's not like on like just a silly little thing that like fucking like environmentalist like agencies and shit are like, hey, probably don't go running outside today. <laughs> hey, probably don't like spend a bunch of time breathing outside if you can help it. <sighs> Stay safe out there, folks.
goddamn Canadians. Dude, it's rare that pretty much like any like fucking natural or unnatural whatever disaster. I don't know if someone was doing a fucking like gender reveal party out there or something. I really don't know the situation this time, but uh, it's pretty rare that anything swings on down to the East Coast aside from a blizzard or two, so. Wasn't it lightning? I don't know, I didn't actually look too much into it this time. I, I mostly heard of it. Weirdest fucking thing. It was my family that told me about it. And then they still left all the windows open the next day. They were the ones that were like, did you see how fucking wild it looks outside? And then the next day, windows wide open. Door catching that good smoky air. Buh. I ain't scared of no smoke. Look, chat. It's all fine. It's all fine. I'll 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 t I'll show them the way. Herd immunity to smoke. Yeah. 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 Damn. And I had to fucking wake up today to the additional Twitch bullshit. Twitch just can't fucking stop, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. They just can't. I just... I need a break. Twitch, I... I why can't Twitch just act like YouTube? I can't believe I have to say that. Why can't Twitch shut the fuck up and act like YouTube? Like, shut the fuck up, never show yourself in front of me again, and just quietly make sweeping changes to your entire situation, and just drop the fucking act that you give a shit about anyone. Okay? Because at least YouTube, when they make a horrible decision, people have to accept it because YouTube fucking fundamentally across the board has shown they do not care. But Twitch does this fucking bullshit where they go, Hey guys, we're all in this together. We're all here together. We're listening to you. We fucking care. Also, let me fuck you eight different ways really quick. But please understand, we're listening. We're here with you. YouTube just goes, I'm going to fuck you eight different ways and also never talk to me. And at least then I know. At least then I know. Like, there, there's nothing I can do about that. I understand that. Twitch doesn't need to improve anything. They just need to fucking make it so clear to everyone that they don't give a shit instead of doing this constant back and forth thing where they pretend they care. It'd make this all a lot easier. Make a lot of streamers stop sweating that maybe stuff will get better and start looking at other options if they want. Because Twitch keeps doing this fucking wildly manipulative bullshit. We're all a team. We're all a team. Hang on. Let me fuck you up. Hang on. We're in this together. We're family. Yeah, I've... Listen, obviously, um, the sponsor thing doesn't really matter as much to me. I, I, I think it's the dumbest fucking shit ever, and I think, obviously, it is not a good decision. Twitch is a bunch of fucking bozos. They're fumbling the ball so hard, they literally just tried to... Dude, it doesn't matter much to me because I don't do a lot of sponsorships, but if I did, I'd be fucking mad because, obviously, um, it wasn't just insane. It was also bafflingly uh, confusing and poorly thought out to the point where I don't know what kind of like funny juice they're getting. <laughs> they're getting into a Twitch where they're fucking doing a line of some kind of cocaine and then fucking frothing at the mouth and just posting shit 
without like someone that's like stable looking at it and being like, hey guys, anyone with a fucking brain cell is gonna read this, do the math, and make fun of us. Like, do they not? They need someone that checks if they're gonna get bullied for them. Like, corporate Twitch needs literally someone that they pay at this point to check if they're gonna get bullied. Because they're getting owned. Every time they post something, they get owned. Twitch, I send this to you as I watch the ship sinking. Hire me, pay me a lot of money. Seven figures. And I will check every message you send before it goes out to make it bully proof. I will do this for you. I will do this for you. I will flip sides. I will come on over there and fucking help you. All right? I will do it for the money. And I offer you this because we're all in this together. Okay? I'm kind of like a hero. <laughs> they honestly do need someone like that. They, dude, literally 90% of Twitch's issues that, like, the reason that Twitch is horrible... Look, YouTube's made a bunch of insane psycho decisions, too, but the problem is... Twitch has this fucking dynamic they've built of we're all friends, we're connected to the community, let's all hang out, let's have conversations and then they fucking turn around and do stupid insane bullshit and walk back all the posturing they've done in the last like couple of weeks every single time. They keep making themselves look like fucking idiots because they can't figure out whether or not they want to be a heartless company or actually like involved in their community and there seems to be two separate fucking lines like two separate teams on Twitch one that's pretending to give a fuck and one that's actually giving a fuck like you know there's like the actual like people that like there I have no doubt there are people that actually give a fuck about the company at Twitch but they're the people that are closer to the streamers like me that have really no genuine say with the actual changes going on behind the scenes and the larger scale shit right There's a huge disconnect between those two, and the problem is, despite how much one side does to make Twitch look like, oh, hey, we give a fuck, we fucking care, please talk to us about these things, the other side pushes them out of the way every two, three weeks, and fucking throws up on the floor in front of everyone, and then points at the fucking, like, public team and goes, clean that up, clean it, and then they stumble back into a back room to make more strange potions. I'm just getting so tired of it. The CEO recently said that Twitch doesn't care if large creators leave because the viewers will just watch other Twitch streamers. That would be true if Twitch had any kind of recommendation infrastructure like YouTube, but it doesn't. Um, it is almost impossible to build an audience on Twitch without word of mouth and without uh, cross-pollination of viewership as a result of uh, raids or someone actively helping you. Uh, that is the reality of Twitch as a platform. Uh, and to ignore that is to simply... To say anything otherwise is to out yourself as being wildly out of touch on your platform as a CEO when you don't understand the fundamental reality of discoverability on this site. And it is that there is none. Twitch has a culture of large streamer equals better a lot of the time. And unfortunately, the only way to undo that mentality is to have a large streamer send your, like, send their audience to a small one. That is fundamentally the unfortunate fact of this site. And Twitch reinforces it all the time. It sucks, but it is what it is.
remember hosting and shit. There were ways that Twitch incorporated attempts to allow smaller audience size streamers to get more viewership and grow themselves. But once again, hosting revolved around the logic of a larger streamer or a streamer from another community helping that person. So much of Twitch's growth revolves around collaboration as pretty much the only way to build at all. And unlike YouTube, which say what you fucking want about YouTube, it does fucking pull you an audience. If you make something, YouTube's algorithm will clock it and say, yep, I'm going to show people that. You can get an audience on YouTube if you make something worth watching, but you can make something worth watching on this site and get owned. Like, you will not be seen. It doesn't matter how good your stream is. Sometimes you just don't get it. But the likelihood of it happening on YouTube is far higher that you actually get somewhere. Twitch has nothing. And I hate to break it to you, community loyalty on Twitch has reached a point where if a lot of streamers go to other platforms, there will be a breaking point where people start to accept, even though they've always said, nah, dude, I'll stick with Twitch. I don't care if that streamer goes. At a certain threshold, people will start going to other sites. If you scare enough people away, it's going to start... like. It's like pushing up, it's pushing a boulder up a hill. At a certain point, if you get to the top of that hill, the boulder's going to start rolling down again and people are going to start leaving because it just takes a large enough amount of people to leave for the site to lose momentum. Okay? And if, and here's the thing, that's for streamers as well. There's a lot of streamers that don't want to leave because they've already built an audience here. It's not beneficial for many streamers to leave to be the first one out the door, right? It's not. I'm not going to fucking go that easily. But if I saw, like, every one of my friends in a chain reaction was leaving the site for somewhere else, well, now it's not as difficult of a band-aid to pull off. Uh, now it's suddenly a logical business decision because my community is deeply invested in a lot of my friends as well. And it makes a lot more sense to go in a big old pile. It's a domino effect, and I don't know why Twitch is so uh, interested in testing it. Because I hate to break it to you, once the bubble pops, it's fucking popped, bozos. And, uh... <laughs> once that happens, they're fucked. They keep testing it. They keep poking the bubble. Like, Twitch really needs to fucking bite the bullet and do something that very clearly wins back. It's like, streamer goodwill. Like, literally, after that fucking sponsorship thing, they really do have to be, like, a 70-30 split. But I just saw the tweet today. I just saw tweets today that were like, uh, yeah, they're actually doubling down uh, this week or next. You're going to be getting the notification that your contract is being updated. And if you don't accept the new terms, it'll be terminated within 120 days and you'll be put back to affiliate. That's literally what I saw today. So, like, they're doubling down on everything. And once that goes through, on top of the sponsor thing, uh, that's it. Like, genuinely, I don't, I don't know how Twitch comes back from those two decisions being made at the same time. Like, you can do one of those, but you got to walk back the other so fucking hard now. Like, you uh, you literally have to walk back the other so fucking hard. Because if Twitch goes to 50-50 split, and then starts posturing for some big fucking get their hand in the, like, in, in the fucking wallets of everyone doing sponsorships, let me have a piece of that, they are fucking done. You can't do both. You literally can't do both. Yeah. They want to remove simulcasting as well. They've always hated simulcasting. And I un here's the thing. Unlike a lot of the other stuff, I do understand the reason why simulcasting isn't allowed. Like, it makes sense. I don't care so much about that one. 
as much as I would love to be simulcasting on YouTube and Twitch, I don't think it's necessarily the most beneficial for your audience to begin with. Simulcasting relative, like pretty much shows a, you know, there's not really a way to build like a specific community somewhere when you're simulcasting anyways. So it's not very beneficial, I don't think, to many streamers to begin with, unless you're still kind of testing the waters on like where you want to commit to. So I understand why Twitch in the past has been like, yeah, don't uh, simulcast. Like I wouldn't do it anyways. But uh, if you're going to take away my fucking 70-30 split that I have, if you're going to take away my ability to run the sponsorships I want to run, despite the fact I don't, and I'm sort of speaking for like a lot of other streamers instead from their point of view, because I get it, why this shit's so problematic. Um, you gotta fucking throw me a bone. <laughs> you gotta throw me a bone. Like, you gotta give something back if you're gonna take so much, because there is a significant demand for something here. You can't take, like, if they're going to pedal to the metal and just go, oh, our PR is fucked, our, like, like, public opinion is in the dumpster, let's just fucking absolutely, like, absolutely make ourselves look like clowns and do everything at the same time. I don't know, dude. There's a lot of streamers that are already, like, I, it, all it takes is one more thing for me to fucking get out of here. Like, it's not like a, it's not like a half a year ago when people were, like, yeah, I'd go if, like, people, if, like, stuff got bad. It's like, well, now stuff is getting bad, and a lot of streamers are like, yeah, I'll do, I'll try a YouTube stream or two and test the waters. And once all the streamers start testing the waters, once again, domino effect, bubble pop. I don't know why Twitch is being so dumb about this. There's a point where you have to fucking accept that you're going to lose some money to win back the stability of your site in the long term. Because right now they are burning their long term stability for short term safety. As far as I guess they're concerned. And like short term gains. Makes me feel like maybe behind the scenes Amazon is like fucking squinting their eyes at Twitch and wondering if they want to keep it around. Is what I'm starting to think. Is that this isn't like Twitch doesn't want this at all. This is Amazon looking at Twitch and going, uh, bad investment, we fucked up on this one, let's cash out. And I don't think Twitch can do much about it. It's like the only way I can even think of defending Twitch as a company is Amazon's fucking them. <clears throat> but who knows? Ultimately, I always assumed that Amazon wouldn't care about the losses Twitch incurs because it's them getting a fucking piece of that, you know, social media, streaming, YouTube, VOD, video pie. You know, so it's the same way that YouTube it has never been profitable for Google. Google doesn't care about how profitable YouTube is for them. YouTube isn't supposed to be profitable. It's supposed to be a massive fucking cultural pillar that they have control over. That's the whole point. Right? Right? It's an information farm. Exactly. You're not investing in money, you're investing in something that you can use for a billion other products you're shilling. But what do I know? I don't have a business degree. I don't know anything about anything. I literally don't know anything about anything, so maybe I'm an idiot. But hopefully, I won't see a notification. Hopefully the most recent shit I saw about them pushing fucking contract updates this week is uh, something they're gonna consider delaying. Because uh, that's a bad look this week. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking at YouTube streaming as well at a certain point. Like, if all this stuff, like, genuinely, like, not like as like a full-time thing, but yeah, I would consider doing like a one or two streams on like the YouTube channel as well, just to like fucking dip my toes in the water and see how it is. Like a bonus stream here or there just to see. 
Revive the old channel? Nah, I do it on I do it on trash. I think. Actually, I'd pro I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'd want to do it on the old channel because I just ruined the chat with a bunch of people that literally don't know who I am anymore because it's been four years. Like that would be really dumb to do that. And it wouldn't be beneficial. You got a lot of dead audience there, you know? But, uh, that's not something I'm, that's not something I'm, like, fucking here ready to, you know, hit the switch on and activate or anything. It's just like, yeah, no, I don't think there's many streamers that are going to, out like, go out of their way now and say, Ride or die Twitch, baby. Let's roll. I think every streamer with a fucking brain cell is looking around and going, yeah, this place is starting to look like I'm starting to smell smoke. Uh, and I don't know why. You know? And maybe it's the fact that I'm literally being gassed out of my house by wildfires, but I, I swear to God, this place stinks. The sky's orange. <laughs> it's bad. Now you know how us Californians feel. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Screw you! When I get my 2.5 earthquake in the next 10 years, I'm gonna shit and piss myself and scream. And then some Californian's gonna walk up to me and say, you're a loser. And I'm gonna have to kick them right in the narts about it, okay? So sick of Californians saying this shit to me. <laughs> Bro, that's literally insane. Yeah, what can I say? Why does Twitch keep doing this? I'm accepting- uh, I think I'm gonna land on the logic that I- I said. I think Amazon's doing hyper-pressure bullshit in the background. I think Twitch has no choice. Is what I'm- I'm- I'm going to- I think that's the one that makes the most sense to me. Because Amazon does hold them hostage, essentially. And I don't think Twitch has ever made money. Tomato, if you decide to leave Twitch, please, for the love of Jesus, make my one million channel points worth something. Huh. 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 I could. I could think about it. I said, making a pointless promise or like floating an idea I never really planned on thinking about further. Yeah, I'll definitely think about that. Let me, let me get back to you. It's kind of funny, though. I think... <laughs> Sometimes I think Twitch got really confident, and maybe Amazon as well, in the background, once Mixer died. Because, you know, Mixer was Microsoft's fucking play. I think they got really confident that, like, oh, there's... N I literally can't be... There, there is no competition against me. I, I win. But, like, Mixer was... <laughs> Mixer was but one attempt. Now we got Kick. I don't think Kick is it. I think YouTube's their threat. Uh, honestly, I think Kick is a fucking. I think Kick's a weird situation. Uh, Kick ain't it. I think YouTube's. I think YouTube's stepping in because Google's willing to burn money. Google's been willing to burn money for like a decade, two decades or so on YouTube. They're not gonna stop now. Google wants that good, good, full control of every single fucking format of video on the internet. 
and I think they'll keep investing. They want that good, good, full monopoly. The Stadia was amazing. Here's a weird thing. I didn't use a Stadia, because why the fuck would I? I'm not an idiot. But I actually heard that the tech behind the Stadia worked pretty well. <laughs> I heard in post after the Stadia was long dead and gone that people were like, yeah, no, it actually, like, worked. If you had, like, good internet, it was, like, actually, like, a good, like, product. That's cope? I don't know, man. I mean, I'll never try it to check. But I think that anything designed around the idea of good internet is stupid. <laughs> what with what with copper wiring still being used in many places, I'm not exactly sure that good internet is a wise business format for anything. Damn, guys. Too bad about the Ouya, though. Only good thing that came out of that one was the frog game. Y'all remember the frog game? Hell yeah. That's a good one. We love the frog game. Bring back plug and play. I think I'm good. But damn. If I didn't want that... SpongeBob plug and play when I was like eight. Holy heck. Damn, if I didn't want to. I remember it. I think the fucking joystick was SpongeBob's big old nose. I think it sucked. But I do remember being like, fuck yes! I had that, it sucked. Oh yeah, uh, no, I don't think many plug and plays were good. As a matter of fact, I think I can say that most plug and plays were bad. Uh, maybe all of them. It did not suck. It sucked, dude. Suck, man. Amazon has no regard with streamers because streamers don't have a united front. Twitch is your livelihood, and you guys should show them this in strike. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Unfortunately, you have to remember that one, uh, Twitch is Twitch as a platform is based off of taking advantage of the available audience. Okay, so. If one person's taking a day off, that's someone else's chance to run a stream and pull income and an audience. Uh, any kind of unified front to do things is just going to have a bunch of other people go, I'm going to stream today. Same way that when people go to like TwitchCon, a bunch of other people go, that's my chance to fucking do some big streams because half of my competition is gone. Unfortunately, streamers are... In reality, all competing against each other. Uh, and to get a united front of streamers getting into some kind of union to protect themselves from Amazon is unrealistic. Matter of fact, I would say it's impossible. Uh, there will always be someone that wants to stream or someone that needs to for their livelihood, unfortunately. As much as, yeah, I'd love to see something like that happen it's not possible i hope that makes sense you are an independent contractor and so is everyone else yeah there's not it's there's just a lot of there's a, there's a lot of moving parts you know A lot of moving parts.
I feel like someone could make a website that just makes streamers pay $10 per stream to stream per stream, but the streamer earns 100% of all money earned each stream. Nah, I literally would never do it. Nah, that couldn't, that wouldn't work. Gotcha gamble streaming for the for the possibility of making your money back. <laughs> Hit the lever. Hit the lever. I need like that would just <laughs> people, dude the, the problem is everyone would know if you're live you pay ten dollars they'd all know <laughs> they'd all know that's like some fucking twitter blue shit this dude pay, play, paid fucking ten dollars to get the fucking stream live bully him become the most toxic site ever. Bully him! Get that guy! He paid to be here! But that would pull viewers, though. I just don't think... I mean... I just don't think so. I just don't, it'll pull viewers, but like, I think the dynamic of a, a, a pay to stream thing would be like, it would be, you would get, it would be difficult to predict whether or not people would decline to even consider the idea of donating to that streamer because they're getting owned for simply going live to begin with, or if people would simply donate to hate watch it would basically be a hate watching platform is uh, all you'd really get it it might be when i when we really put it down in words here it might be the most toxic concept I could ever imagine for a streaming platform, and that's why I think it's genius, actually. We, we've we essentially created a, uh, like a, a, a cyber hell zone kind of situation where people navigate, like it's very cruelty squad. People are gonna navigate to this site and see a big wall of people that paid $10 to be picked on. And then they can pick their favorite one, go there, and throw money at them so they can convince them to come back again. So they can do it all over again. It might pay off, actually. Yeah. Isn't that just text-to-speech donations? True. True. <laughs> it's, oh fuck. You know when I think the now that I've gotten past the initial gut reaction of it being bad, I kind of wish that it existed so that I could peek into the fucking dystopian landscape within, you know what I mean? Like, now I'm kind of coming back around, and I'm starting to see all the downsides sides as actually secretly good sides and upsides for me as a guy who won't be using it, but would love to peek into the darkness, you know what I mean? Just gaze into the void for a minute. Damn. Chat, this, is how, this has been a lovely conversation, but I literally, if I don't turn on a nuclear reactor and fucking cook my character alive with it, I'm gonna die. I'll die. I'll die. That'll be it. I'll die. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and uh, then when I get back, 
We are going to turn on a nuclear reactor, even if it takes forever. I'll be back. All right. All right. Okay. So once again, uh, this game is not to be trifled with. Okay, I need to be very clear. Uh, it, uh, it confirms very early in the Steam description that it does not have it. It says verbatim, does this game have a tutorial that teaches you how to operate a nuclear reactor? No, it does not have one and will not have one. This game is a nuclear reactor simulator, and just like flight simulators don't teach you how to fly an actual plane, a nuclear reactor simulator will not teach you how to operate a real nuclear reactor. Now, I'm not totally in the wild here, but uh, this is this is this is not a this is not a simulator that fucks around. Okay, there is like full-on real gameplay here. There's I it is an involved simulation with like upgrades and fun interesting things to do and like exploring the whole place. It's all in there. I have some things to help me. And I have a I have a friendly and very convenient spreadsheet I don't understand here. Um I don't know what any of this fucking means. I literally couldn't tell you what any of it means, but I, I pulled this up. Um, apparently, this is everything I need to know to turn on a nuclear reactor. So I will consult it if I need. It will add up. Now, mods, I would like to run a gamble specifically on... Mm, I'm trying to think. Do we make it? Do we do two? One for now, which is just, does he turn it on? And then once I figured out how to turn it on, we do another for, does he die? I think that's, the, I think we do it, we do one right now for, does he turn it on? And then we'll do another for, does he die once it's on? Once that's happened, right? So let's run one now for, does it turn on? And by turn on, I mean, it has to... Like, run. It can't just turn on for, like, a split second and shut off again. It needs to be running. Okay. It has to generate power and not just, like, a bing and then turn off again. All right. I'm going to get the game turned on. Oh, boy. I'm a little nervous. Oh. This is some kind of stock music I've heard before. You know, I'll turn on the display in a minute. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be okay now, chat. I need to be very clear as we get into this. I have enabled random catastrophes. I have random catastrophes enabled. Something fun to do with my time. Something, we'll have a little bit of fun here. So that'll be cool. Just pop into my, oh my God, I can't even fucking read this. Quality level, high. Detailed physics, cool. Vertical sync activated. Cool, I just want vertical sync on. The rest of the UI is scaled properly. It's just that one menu. New game.
Oh my god. Well, um... Here we are. Oh wow, there it is. There's the pool. Huh. Well, um... Look, I played Engineer in Space Station 13 one time. Operational Assistant. The Operational Assistant, AO, is an automated unit specifically designed for assistance, maintenance, and control of the reactor. To interact with AO, press the tab key. If he is not busy, he will reply as soon as possible. AO uses a long-life internal battery to operate. When the battery is depleted, AO will return to its charging bay to recharge. During that time, it will not respond to any command. If the bay does not have direct power from the network, you can supply it with emergency batteries from the supply room. Dedicated rack for AO in yellow. Okay, I think before I interact with any of this shit shot, I want to learn the layout of the facility, because those are all... fucking things. Okay. So I think I'm gonna, like, go outside quick. Take a look around. Fuck, why did I vote yes? Look, let me just take a look around. Okay? Uh, alright. Internal supply, decontaminator room, reactor core, generation turbine. Okay. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. You're short AF? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so... Radioactivity sensor is clean- Did that just turn yellow? The generator's not on! Alright, the generator's not on! It's not on! This thing's not on, I know it's not on. We're on- we're on auxiliary generator power right now, but not like radioactive power. I'm just gonna- Hang on. Okay, here is the... Generation turbine room, we'll take a quick- Holy shit, it just opens? I thought I'd have to press a button. So what is this then? Hang on. I press it? No. Well, I'd like to go in. Okay, that's a decontamination module. If we get fucking blasted with radiation, we'll climb in that thing and get ourselves showered off. Just like so. Operator detected. Analyzing. Radioactivity not detected. Thank you. Over here we have the, uh... <laughs> okay, the most- the sprint. Let's hope we never have to sprint. As far as I'm concerned. Hang on. Options. Motion compensation is on. You say- you're telling me I've got motion compensation on? Blur effect off. Hang on, there might be settings for this. I can turn off blur effect. Motion blur. That too. That makes it a little bit better. My dude's got a weird stumble to him. Oh. Enter generating turbine building. I have objectives. I have to enter the emergency power generation supply building, enter the reactor core containment building, use my tablet to turn on my operation assistant, and generate enough energy to meet demand and achieve minimum service compliance. Damn, really should have made that the fucking condition for the vote, huh? Could have just fucking labeled the fucking options as... Just, does he do it, or does he generate enough energy to meet demand and achieve minimum service compliance? Okay, well, uh... Let's take a look around this place, we're gonna be in here a lot. Don't be interactable. It's interactable. Aw, oh, fuck. It's all interactable. All of it? All of them? Aw, oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. No, no, I, no. Alright, well, that's... I don't even remember which room this is. What's the name of this room? Generating turbine? Okay. Flammable. Okay, well, this place is a bunch of bullshit. We can run all this from the computers back at the main station, the command center. So I don't think we have to worry too much about this place. Um... Condenser. Oh my god. This is... Oh my god. This all makes sense now. 
This is where they condense the milk they feed the atoms so they become big and strong and generate lots of energy. Oh my god. Go on, chat. Disappear for me. Go on, chat. What the fuck? These aren't buttons. These are like notifiers on if there's a problem. So, we have a couple of these. The condenser can have activity, be dry, overload, have energy. Okay. Contaminated oil. I do not bother concerning myself with all of this yet. We're just here to look around and know the layout. Here's the oil button. I uh, can't do anything with it, which is honestly good, I think. Oil's locked. No oil. <laughs> okay, sprinting is just terrible. We're not gonna sprint anymore unless we're like about to die. The run is just awful. Okay. So, we got a bunch of cubes here. Um, we got ourselves, uh... Fucking hell, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of fire extinguisher. What's this? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, fuck. I- it looks like I'm really in, uh... Looks like I'm really doing it. Is that missing textures over there I see? I think I see Gmod missing textures on those trees. Huh. Huh. Most- might, it might be radiation making me do that though. It might be radiation. I might have caught myself some rads earlier than I thought. Let me just go back inside. I think I locked myself out of that- I- actually there's no doors. There's no fucking door. There's like no handle. Did I lock myself out? What? Did I take a fucking fire escape out and now I can't get back in? Oh no. There's gotta be a real entrance. Oh, here we go. This is a real one. Let me in. Beep. Okay. Over here is, uh, the reactor core. Brace yourselves, everyone. This is one of the most dangerous rooms in the entire facility. Ow! 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 I'm fine. You don't want to go in there. Hang on, I gotta go take a shower. I'm gonna remain calm. But I have to go take a bath. Help! Help! Operator detected. Help! Please don't move. Analyzing. Analysis completely successful. Radioactivity not detected. I think my guy just doesn't know how to hold his breath and tried to breathe water, chat. That's just water. There's no radioactivity yet. This reactor's never been turned on. It's a clean slate. This bad boy? Clean slate. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Now, let me just take a look at some of these valves. Remove coolant. No, I don't think I will. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the coolant on. Uh, it's just important we know what all these things are before we go turning any nozzles or pressing any buttons. Vents. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Sauce! Dude, the only thing sus is how I got this job. Steam generator. Don't need it. Evaporator valve. Not sure why I'd want to evaporate it. Someone peed over here. All over the place. And what's this? Storage? Open it. This is all we- Yo, what the hell? Yo, that's just there, though. Is that like an activated fucking ion bar? I probably shouldn't be touching or anywhere near this. Hang on. This isn't emergency generation and supply building. Do I have a map? No, that's a wiki. Do I not have a... Audits. 
Oh my fucking god. Wait, no. <laughs> Am I gonna be fucking audited? They're gonna come in and check if I'm doing it good? Oh, fuck. Uh... Focus on turning it on. Alright, we don't have to worry about the nuclear company checking on me. I want this automatically opening. And closed. Thank you. I don't like opening doors. Why the hell would I have that off? Just press the on button. Why didn't I think of that? Well, let's find the last... We got like two more rooms we need to find first. Uh, well, actually, no. We just have to find emergency power generation and supply. Which I think might be outside. We find that. We know where that is. And that's... Well, we'll need to know where that is. Because we also need to make sure that we... If we need... Can, like, recharge my boy. What the hell's this? In ye... Con... In ye... In ye... In ye... Xion de potassium iodide. Don't know what that means. That, that ain't... That is not words I can speak. Going outside again. Do I live in this? Is this like a trailer? Or is this my emergency power room? <laughs> huh. What is this a... Oh, it's a train. I leave? Wait, where the fuck am I going? Am I quitting? Ah. Uh, close the doors. Turn the brakes off. Turn the energy on. Ah. Uh, start. There is no image. You're telling me this is a bug out train. This is a train you use if it's so bad you need to leave the area. There's a fucking emergency escape shuttle. Fuck. All right, turn it off. Turn it off. Leave the brakes off, though. We don't want those on. Open the doors. Okay. Good to know that we have safety, uh, ready to go. No, it's good. What is this, a giant fucking hole? Oh. Is this the dump hole? Is this where I dump my, like, my nasty waste? Fuck. Alright, where's, where's emergency supply? Before I start, I need to get that done. I'm not jumping in there, chat. I'll die. I'll definitely die. So that's... So yeah, that's how I let the reactor pee, chat. You're right. That's how... That's When the reactor... When the reactor needs to pee, that's where it goes. Why do you say these things? Because cha chat said it, and I'm like a fucking parrot. Well, uh, I'm hoping emergency reactor charge station is over here. I need to know how to turn on the robot if it runs out of batteries. There's nothing back here. I feel like I'm gonna get killed by a ghost. Like a fucking cryptid's gonna pour out of these fucking trees and come get me. We got two! We got two fucking big old bins for tossing out waste. Damn. Let me take a peek at this one. Holy heck. Now that thing... That thing can hold a lot of waste. Where the hell's the fucking extra room? I still need to find that other building. The sun's setting at 11.13. Where's my emergency supply room? You will never find it? I'm gonna find it. My clipboard here says it exists. Emergency power generation and supply building. It's its own building. I will find it. Maybe it's over here. That hurts in the building. The crows are cawing. They're pissed. I don't know why. I feel like 
I'm not supposed to walk in this either. You know, like this all feels like stuff I'm not supposed to be going near. It's just steam. Yeah, but like, I probably won't balance it very well. And then it's all going to be radioactive steam, you know? Okay, I'm starting to think that the emergency supply building is actually inside the main plant. And it just says it's another building. It's gotta be inside the plant. I'm going back inside. Oh, let's just follow the directions. We have signs. There's a basement. There's a fucking basement. What am I doing? Wait, no, there isn't. Internal supply. Let's go to internal supplies. There's an upstairs. There's a second, there's a third floor. Let's go up to internal supply. It has to be up there. Internal supply is apparently downstairs. Wait, what? Then which room's this? Where the fuck am I? Wait, this is supply. This is supply. This is supply. The map sucks, but this is supply. Okay. This is our backup operating batteries. The AO emergency battery rack allows direct controls, direct power supply to the AO charger located in the control room. In an emergency, if power cannot be restored to the control room and AO needs to be recharged, this rack can be used with conventional class A batteries to power the AO charger. Do not use to directly charge AO batteries since the rack is not compatible. I see. And here's my dumpster. For when I dispose of radioactive waste, I'll toss it in here and close the lid to contain the ions. Uh, here's my gasoline. Put that back. Here's my juice. Put that back. Left click on object you want to collect. Fuel cans, batteries, etc. Right to place an object in a container or use it. Click the left button again. Mouse over the object container. Okay. To drop an object, click with the right mouse button. Be careful when you drop objects. It might be impossible to retrieve them. Okay. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, Jesus. Put it down. I don't know what the, the fuck is that? Active resistors? Repairing plier. The cable repairing pliers are designed to fix cables, whether live or de-energized. Dude, you need to relax. I haven't turned it on yet. I haven't even turned on a dial. The pliers have a specialized head that can strip away any damaged insulation from cables and create a clean and conductive connection. Okay. To repair live electrical cables, the pliers must have active resistors and be opened at the moment of contact with the damaged cable. <laughs> if the pliers are not open or do not have resistors, the danger of electric shock and death is inevitable. Holy shit. Toss that on the fucking ground. We're not gonna need that. So let me check some spare supplies and spare parts. Okay. Three fuel, three oil, three rod controllers, two core fuel, four batteries, AO battery one, hazard suit, reply, repairing pliers. Nice. Status, core, not on. Nice. That's what I like to see. No maintenance tasks. Marketplace. God, why? I don't, just don't even look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't, service compliance. Are you telling me right now, at this exact moment, there's like 2 billion people that are demanding that I generate 43, like 400 or so megawatts of power? 4,300? Just like a bunch of fucking power? Am I on the clock? Hey, I mean, good news is the average can't go down. It's already at zero. Okay, well, look, first day on the job. Emergency battery rack allows the batteries to be charged or to consume their load when there is no other source of energy available. The backup racks allow to store charged batteries and to exchange them with batteries of the emergency rack. How many batteries we got? Put that back. Okay, instantly changes it. That's good. I can see things moving around. Those are charged. They're all charged up good. I was really hoping these wouldn't be interactable. Okay, well, uh, everything's on, and you know what? Let me just tick this off and see what happens. When I ticked that, it was supposed to turn off the uh, lights in the room, but it all stayed on. Wait, top floor. What the fuck does this thing do? 
What the hell does this even do? All right, well, I'm just not gonna touch it. Is the power still on? It's on. Okay. And all this here, and what I'll tell you is this. The entire plant, this entire plant you see is run off of this here gasoline generator, and goddamn it, Old Reliable has continued to chug along this whole time. Brings a goddamn tear to my eye. Yes, we run this generator indoors with no filtration or like vents on the ceiling. Why am I getting spooky music? Dude. I'm getting the outer wilds ding ding like the spooky song all of a sudden. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I haven't even turned the button yet. It can't be happening. We have reached the middle of the day. Prepare for prepare reactor for peak demand. Relax, I haven't even fucking started my shift. All right. Let's prepare the reactor for peak demand, chat. The control room. People are getting a little angry. We're gonna rotate around and we're gonna figure out what all this shit does. First of all, safety. Potassium iodide injector allows you to clean the blood when there is radiation poisoning. Each dose has a cost in prestige points. Okay, we're not gonna be able to prestige if I get poisoned. Hazmat. Okay, protect your suits allow you to work in radiation contaminated areas without being damaged. It is important you keep in mind the suit only protects you if it is not damaged, huh? If you are hit by, if you are hit or the material is torn, it will lose its ability to protect you from radioactivity. Why is this simulated? Why does it matter that much? What am I going to get hit by? <laughs> Wait, what's going to hit me? Other than like radiation. What does this do? What have I done? If I need that, we're fucked. All right, if we need that, we're fucked. If we need that, we're fucked. Okay. Let's just start at... Popular... 31,000 people are really mad at me and are wondering why the nuclear reactor hasn't let them fucking play Fortnite all day. Look, let's take it slow. Currently, what the fuck does video vigilancia mean? Turn that on. Oh, cool. Is there fucking aliens in this game? Am I gonna get signal simulated? <laughs> Wait a minute, why do I need to be signal simulated? Well, now I can see the core room. And I can even look inside the pool. There it is. Oh, reactor. All right, let's start with this. Control rods. The control rods in nuclear reactor are used to regulate the rate of fission reactions and maintain a safe and stable operating condition. These rods, made of materials such as boron and cadmium, absorb neutrons and can be inserted or removed from the reactor core. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The, mov the movement of the control rods is carefully monitored and controlled by the reactor operator to maintain a stable and safe operating condition. In case of an emergency, the control rods can be inserted fully into the reactor core to stop the fission chain reaction and shut down the reactor. The effectiveness and accurate control of the control rods is crucial to ensure the safety and efficiency of a nuclear reactor. Yeah, whatever. Where's the scram button? Okay, we know how to scram. Activate. Okay. Control rods are activated. I don't want to scram. Let's get that turned off. I don't want my ears to hurt. Can we unturn that off? Leave that turn not off. Okay. Look, Chad, I think it's good that we interface with every part of the, like, entire system right now, and we don't worry about the uh, overwhelming demand outside. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say I would like to... <laughs> 
I'd like to move the reactors 12. Okay, I'd like to undo it. Okay. I told it to move 12 and it's moved 75. Does that mean it's moving 12? Oh God. Undo, go back up to 100. <gasps> Panic. Go back up to 100. Back up, back up, back up. The turbines, ah oh, fuck. The turbines in a nuclear reactor work by converting the thermal energy created by the nuclear reaction into mechanical energy, which is then used to generate electricity. The steam powered in the, tur in the reactor's primary cooling system is sent to the turbines, causing them to spin. As the turbines spin, they turn a generator, which produces electrical energy that can be used to power homes, businesses, and other facilities. I'm so keenly aware. The process of turning the turbines is carefully monitored to ensure that the reactor operates safely and efficiently. Control systems are used to regulate the speed and pressure of the steam flowing into the turbines, and safety features are in place to prevent the system from overloading or malfunctioning. I think it's fair to say we need to activate every single platform because they don't even have power yet. Activate the display. Connect it to Wi-Fi. Oh, I bet network means connect it to the fucking grid. Okay, we don't want to do that. All the power is mine right now. Uh, don't do that. Wait, hang on. Let me just check it again. Yes. Okay, that's how we send power out to the grid. I'm learning. Okay. This is easy enough to understand. This is... Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Worry about those later. Don't even look at... Oh, shit. Wait, all of them? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, coolant system. This one's important. The primary coolant in a nuclear reactor is a fluid, typically water, that is used to transfer- Dude, why don't you use cooling gel like on a CPU? Come on. Get a lot of that. What the fuck are these guys doing? Why- why water? Typically water that is used to transfer heat generated by a nuclear fission in the reactor core to the steam generator. The coolant is circulated through the reactor core by a pump. Absorbing the heat produced by the nuclear reactions, the heated coolant then flows through a heated exchanger where it transfers its heat to a secondary coolant, which produces steam. Okay, this all- Chat, everyone better be paying attention because we all have to do this. Alright, this is bad. So, like, all of this, even though it's not necessarily telling me exactly what I have to do on the board, we're understanding how all these things connect, which is going to be very important later. That's why I'm reading these help tips. Because we actually need to understand what these things all fucking do, or we're not going to understand what the fuck's happening when it starts playing siren sounds. The proper function of the new coolant is crucial to the safe and efficient operation of the reactor, as any failure or loss of coolant could result in a nuclear meltdown. Activate. It pushed me over to steam generator, so we're going to read that as well. Steam generator is a critical component of a nuclear reactor's secondary cooling system, which transfers heat from the primary coolant to drive a steam turbine and generate electricity. The steam generator removes excess moisture from the steam before it enters the turbine, which helps prevent damage to the turbine blades and ensures efficient operation. The steam generator works by heating the incoming steam to vaporize any liquid droplets and separate them from dry steam. It then passes the dry steam to the turbine for energy generation. The proper functioning of the steam generator is essential for the safe and efficient operation of the nuclear power plant. I would argue this and this are the most important stations then, so far. Seems like this and this are like the do or die. If these break, we shut it down. If these make a beep, we scram, all right? If these make a fucking beep, scram it. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. No one panic, everyone chill. Thanks, Bear of Norway, for the 15 gifted subs. What's this? Condenser in a nuclear reactor is responsible for transferring the thermal energy produced to the reactor by the reactor to a secondary cooling system. The primary cooling system of the reactor transfers the heat to the condenser, where hot water vapor is condensed back into liquid form, releasing the heat into cooling into 
through the cooling water. <laughs> the cooling water is then circulated back to the reactor to continue the cycle. The proper functioning of the condenser is crucial to maintaining a stable operating temperature in the reactor. Can I have one thing? Hang on. Without the condenser, primary cooling system would quickly become overwhelmed and the reactor would overheat, leading to potential safety hazards. Can I have one station where I read it and it goes, yeah, this one, uh, does it actually matter? I need one of these to just pop up and be like, keep this one around for fun. If you press the, if you press the button on the top, it plays Tetris. I'll be like, fuck yes, yeah, something to do. Condenser. Okay, so let's turn this part on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back here. We started at coolant and we got distracted. Let me just cool, core outer vessel coolant flow control. Leave that off for now. Coolant flow speed, ordered current, medium flow speed. Main core, we're gonna load the loop. What does that do? Orders 50, condenser loop, load that as well. Set that to load. The condenser needs to be on. Turn it off. Turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn it 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 off. Okay. Chat, we have it. Chat, I'm reading this stuff. I'm just doing a little bit. We're going to turn on our help robot and he will help us and like we can tell him to do things and he'll do it better than us. Okay, that's like part of the design of the game. I'm just going through all these stations first so I actually know what they're doing before I send him to do things. Okay? The reactor core. Explain. The core of a nuclear reactor is the central part of the reactor where nuclear reactions take place. The core contains enriched uranium, which undergo a controlled chain reaction to produce heat. The heat produced by the nuclear reaction is used to create steam, which drives turbines to generate electricity. The control rods are also inserted into the core to absorb neutrons and regulate the rate of the chain reaction. Coolant is used to transfer the heat from the core to the steam generators, which produces steam to drive the turbines. The core is surrounded by several layers of safety systems and barriers to prevent the release of radioactive materials into the environment. I, at least I know we're not all set. But I am going to activate it. Because activate doesn't mean it's on. It just means the displays are working now. Okay. <laughs> uh, I comply- Chat, somehow at between 9 hours and 1300 hours, I actually managed to comply with 30% of the expectations of me. If we were in danger, that light would be flashing. This don't mean nothing. We're fine. Why the fuck do I have to know the weather? Why? Wait, no, 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 no. Generators and emergency batteries are critical components of a nuclear reactor safety systems. The generators are responsible for producing electrical power that is used to operate essential equipment and systems, even in the event of a power outage. Emergency batteries provide backup power to ensure continued operation of vital safety systems, okay, such as cooling pumps and control systems in the case of a complete loss of power. These systems are designed to operate during extreme circumstances to ensure that the reactor can be safely shut down and controlled even in the event of an unexpected event or emergency. Okay, they're on. Everything's on and set to automate. Why are these not on? Why are you two not set to automatic? Automatic now. Okay. Pressurizer is a key component. Can we please have one that says not that important? Don't bother caring. Tomato's gonna end stream before we get through this tutorial. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think any of this was a tutorial to start the actual one in the game? This is just teaching us how what things are in a nuclear reactor. We haven't even gotten to the tutorial, motherfucker. We're still in reading what a nuclear reactor is. And while that's happening, I would appreciate it if you all consult the fucking sheet, okay? Memorize it, burn it into your fucking eyes, okay? 
Shut your mouth. Consult the sheet. Pressurizer is a key component in a pressurized water reactor, PWR, nuclear power plant. It contains the pressure in a primary coolant loop, which is essential for the efficient heating and transfer and to prevent the coolant from boiling. The pressurizer contains both steam and water and uses heaters and spray nozzles to maintain a constant pressure. Pressurizers are also equipped with a number of important valves, including a main steam valve. Okay, I know where this is too. It's right outside. I learned where all these things are, are, are like already. Okay. Which regulates the amount of steam that is allowed to leave the pressurizer and enter the turbine and, pre and the pressure relief valve, which is a safety valve that is used to prevent overpressure in the primary coolant loop. Do I have control of these here? No. Okay, so if stuff gets really bad, I have to go downstairs outside into here where the actual tank is, which I believe is right. I thought it was here, it's not. Wait, is that it? No. Is it? Where the fuck am I? Oh no. No, 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 no. Fuel! The fuel in a nuclear reactor works as a source of energy. We know this. The use of safety measures and proper precautions, such as the use of personal protective equipment and handling in specific facilities and procedures is required to ensure that radiation exposure is minimized. In addition, proper management of used fuel is also a Ah, uh, who cares? Activate. And activate this. We need these things on. Okay. Okay, fuel is unloaded. All right, so none of this matters till we load the fuel. None of this matters till we load the fuel. 3,000 bits from Bear of Norway. First time seeing you live, though I've been an avid watcher of VODs for a good while now. Though I'd try to catch a stream to say thank you for all the great entertainment. Cheers from Norway. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the bots. Control and disposal of nuclear fuel waste. We'll consult this one later. <laughs> that one. We'll consult later, because right now I have to look at the nuclear shield. The shielding of a nuclear reactor refers to the barrier of materials placed around the reactor core to reduce the radiation. Okay, we understand this. Typically made from steel, concrete, lead. The importance of shielding lies in its ability to protect human health and safety while minimizing the negative effects of the environment. In addition, shielding is essential to meet the safety standards and regulations. What am I going to get audited? Doesn't say here I'm getting audited for a couple of weeks. Don't got to worry about that. Fuck off. No. Primary circuit valves in a nuclear reactor are used to regulate the flow of water in the system and control the pressure of the circuit. These valves are essential for the proper operation of the reactor as they allow for regulation of water flow through the cooling system and modulation of the reactor core. The importance of these valves lies in their ability to ensure safety and efficiency in the operation of the nuclear reactor, ensuring that the re temperature and pressure of the primary circuit remain within safe limits and allowing precise control of the reactor power. Dude, I've played fucking Minecraft mod packs more complex than this kindergarten bullshit, okay? I'm going to be fine. Primary circuit drain valves. The primary circuit drain valves in a nuclear reactor are used to drain water from the system in case of an emergency or maintenance. These valves, blah, 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 blah. The importance of these valves lies in their ability to ensure safety and efficiency. It's a safety mechanism. And newsflash, they're off right now. It's all off right now. Every one of these here is off right now. But you know what I need on right now? My good friend. The ro- hang on. Alright. Looks like we are not irradiated right now. What if I- can I put this on early? <laughs> we can't live like this. Put it back. Put that back. Okay. It's time, chat. Engage. My 
Operating assistant. Turn on. Welcome. My name is Al, and I am the operations assistant for the Hello. reactor. The plant is ready to go into operation. Is it? If you need my help, please let me know. Okay, Al. I need your help. Specifically, first things first, Al. I would like to request your help in reactor startup protocol. Now, I've already enabled emergency power generation myself. The uh, correct volume of coolant is inside the cooling circuit. Correct. Stabilize the cir circulation of coolant from the generator room condensers. All that comes pre-prepared for me. Introduce the control rods at 100% inside the reactor core. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that by accident. But uh, good news is um, it will be ready when we need to, Al. So don't worry about that. Now, uh, next thing on our sheet of to-dos here is... Um, what the fuck was that? I just get a ping? Did you ping me? Ow. Oh, no, you're just making sounds. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, first thing on the list, Ow, is we need to activate and energize reactor modules in the control room. Uh, if the internal energy is not enough to energize, I'm gonna request assistance. Show me what to do here. You have requested assistance with the ignition protocol. Yes. On my way, you need information for activate and energize the reactor modules in the control room modules yes please activate the activation levers of the modules that i have illuminated so that you can identify them now we must wait a few seconds until the module has been energized each active module consumes internal energy at this time the emergency generator is active okay his voice is so graining what's your problem what's your problem all right so it looks like in order to get the ball rolling, first things first, we gotta get the steam generators and condensers on. Now what? I did it? Okay, thanks, Al. Are these moving? Oh no, I'm hearing that sound again. Al, are we good? Ow! I'm not seeing any of these move. Steam generator 3 is the only one on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Condenser's moving. I only have this shit set to pump through pump 3 right now. Okay. Uh, well, um... What the fuck? You need to relax. You stick up on me again, I swear to God, I will punch that screen. Fucking dude, he looks like Mr. Electric, man. He looks like that guy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. It's pissing me off. It's pissing me the hell off. Fuck. Stop looking at me. Okay. Operating assistance, I require more help. Now that that's done, we need to stabilize coolant circulation inside the reactor core. Operator, you have requested assistance with the ignition protocol. Yes. On my way, you need help to stabilize the coolant circulation inside the help. reactor core. Help! The pressurized water reactors, PWR, the coolant acts as a moderator at the same time. Help! The function of the moderator is to slow down the neutrons and nuclear fission reactions in order to take advantage of the nuclear energy of the atom. The of course, is to maintain as we all know. Chain reaction within the nuclear reactor. Moving the neutrons too fast in the reactor core reduces the chance that they will collide with another atom. As we all know, Al. As we all know. Reactor core is not correct. Come with me. I will guide you. Okay. Activates the circulation pumps to start the circulation of the coolant. See, I fucking predicted we'd need to do fucking medium. I knew that. I did this right. Medium, pump three on. I knew it, Al. Has started to circulate. Oh, okay. So now we just let that circulate to uh, what we need, Al, right? Right? Yeah? I don't like how you have that gun, man. Okay, so where's pump three here? Where the fuck is pump three? Okay, well, it's we're cooking up to the ordered 50. We need, we need 50 ordered here. If it's not at 50, I don't think it's working, right? So let's let that cook up to 50. Um, 
I don't know what content. What's the condenser loop for, dude? It's flashing red and yellow. What does it mean? Don't. I didn't mean to push you. <laughs> it's fine. It's all green. Operating assistant. Request help. Stabilize circulation of coolant towards the cooling towers. Show me. You have requested assistance with the ignition. Help. On my way. Thank you. Help to stabilize the circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers. The circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers is not correct. Come with me. I will guide you. Ow, I don't feel so good. Oh, did we make it? Oh, that was fast. The circulation pumps to start the circulation. Okay. Medium flow. Start. Dude, thanks, Al. You're really helpful. I do appreciate you. Mwah. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook up to 50, and then we'll continue on. How's, uh, how's stuff looking in the old fuel room? Looking good. How's stuff looking in the core? Nice. That's probably the best angle we're gonna have, because I'm gonna close those blast doors soon. What the fuck? That thing's actually spinning. Chad, we're getting like stuff starting to move, man. Um. Yo, Al, how's your battery power doing? 98%. He's good. Okay, and is this done? Almost done. Being ordered on coolant. Temp set a smooth 25 Celsius. We're done cooking that. What's next on the, uh, operating assistant list for, uh, startup protocol? Water circulates in a liquid state at very high pressure through the primary circuit, though the pumps that propel it through the reactor core, through the pumps that propel it through the reactor core where it's heated. The pressurizer has its own heater. Let me see if I can do this myself without his help first, and then I'll ask him if I need it. Okay? What the fuck? Okay, so we, here we have a valve. And it's, uh, and going into it is a cooling valve and a vent valve. I feel like cooling valve is gonna want to be on. It, struggling to get it to... There it is. And now we want to turn on the heater. And we're gonna put the heating power at medium. Maybe I cool it once it's heated. Go on now. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. I'll turn on the cool- we're gonna watch it. I'm gonna turn on the cooling once it's gotten to its optimal temperature. Looks like we need to get the temperature and the pressure to the same pot. Dude, he's pissed at me. He knows I'm- he knows I'm fucking it up. Oh no. Uh... He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. He knows. Let's just let it heat. Let's all stay chill. Okay. Generated- our only objective right now is generate enough energy to meet demand and achieve minimum service compliance. No maintenance tasks required. You know what, uh... You know, I got an idea. I got an idea, Al. How about you, uh, while I'm getting this done, how about you, uh, go ahead and, uh... How about you go ahead and, uh, do a preventative maintenance analysis? Operator, I'm going to start with the analysis of the situation of the plant. Okay. Where are you going? Dude, I didn't think you'd leave. Holy fuck, he's leaving. He's actually going to check my work. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay. I'm on my own on this one. Still heating up, honestly. Heat up a little faster. Dude, this fucking piece of shit barely turns. Okay. Heat up a little faster. Gotta get you to the optimal temp. He's improvising. Now I'm gonna open coolant right now. I'm gonna open the coolant right now. Coolant system's already charged up. We got a lot ordered. I 
feel like I need to stop condenser loop. I think that was supposed to happen. I think that was the right choice. I think I turned that on on my own earlier. Pressure's going up now. I think that was actually, like, correct. Okay. Valve. Open. Heat's going up. Pressure's going up. We're gonna turn heating power down to medium. And now we're gonna let these things hit their green ideal meters nice and careful. Why that thing go to yellow? I don't think I want vent valve open. I think vent valve is like the emergency. I need to get pressure out of this quickly button. If stuff's looking like it's gonna melt down. Just gonna let the heat build and put the pressure where it's supposed to be. It's flickering yellow and fucking green again. Which is like the one thing I don't like seeing. Pressure is slowly going up as the temperature reaches its optimal level. Where the fuck is that robot? Okay, he's analyzing hallways and shit. 45% done. Okay. Well, uh... We have to watch this for a little bit longer. Heat's getting there slowly now. It's almost at operating temperature. What the fuck is that one? Chat, which one's that one? I don't know. Pressure stabilizing, temperature stabilizing. Just because that thing says it's full, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. This stopped making scary sounds. Everything's in the green. It's all green. We are... What the fuck? Oh, we just don't have the generators on. These ones aren't turned on yet. We don't need that on. That was never part of it. Okay, we're good. What? Condenser is, uh... Wait a minute. Hang on. Whoa, 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 Where that condenser loop? One again that I ticked. I just want to see if that changes this one. Just want to see if this moves it. We're turning it back off. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need it. How's this looking? Pressure's getting there. We're stabilizing. What does that mean? I have to call him. You're done with that! 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 Help me with the core pressure now! Come here! Operator, Ow! The situation analysis of the plan has been suspended. Operator, Ow! Requested assistance with the ignition protocol. On my way. Help! 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 I, one of the meters is getting really high! <laughs> Chad, it's okay. None of this can kill me yet because, um... We haven't hooked it up to the fucking thing. Ow! Ow! Thank God you're here! I pressed a bunch of buttons! Help me! You need help to prepare the reactor core pressurizer. Yes. Come with me. Okay, thank you. you. And now I turn them off. Here it is. We have arrived. What? Ow! Turn back on. Help, help, help. I'm sorry, I was joking. Help, do it again. 
Help. Help. Help, help, help. Operator, you have requested assistance with the- I didn't think I could do that! On my way. Okay. You help to prepare the reactor core pressurizer. Come with me. I will guide you. The pressurizer does not have the necessary volume to operate. You must actuate the valves to add or remove refrigerant until the operating volume is reached. Okay. I'm gonna vent. Now that vent just closes the fucking pressure. The temperature is going up. Heating power, low. Not high, low. Dude! That fucking filter with this thing's totally supposed to be pumping. There's nothing going to the condenser. Turn on! Turn on! He's pissed at me. <gasps> I'm gonna need this thing to cool. Go down. Hey, Al. I'm blaming you for this one, dude. Uh, none of the meters are moving now. Al, what the fuck did you do? Al, what the fuck? Do I rerun stabilize? Did I fuck this up? He thinks it's already good. I'm on my own. Cut heating. Dude, there's nothing going on with coolant. Coolant's not working. Main core, loop! Yeah? Yeah? Help. Why aren't you helping more? The generator that if it's on, it should be fine. Maybe if I set this to low. These pumps don't say they're on. I think it's moving. Chat, it's going back. It's cooling. We just had to turn the heat off. Entirely. I don't, uh... I don't know if any of these mattered, but I can tell you one thing. These pumps ain't circulating. I'm gonna try something. Main core I'm gonna turn off again because I don't think that actually helped. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on pump two. Go on now, react. Yo, dude, why did we not order the condenser on? Do we know why that's not on yet? Can we get the condenser flowing, dude? Temperature's coming back, pressure's coming back. 
I don't know what this meter means. But we're slowly coming back. And according to the display, we're pretty much all set to start, believe it or not. Believe it or not, we're actually like doing really good. Dude. This shit ain't fucking moving. Condenser is not receiving any condensing at all. Bro? Adjust volume of coolant inside the pressurizer to operating level. Dude, I only have like a couple options for that and none of them are good. The coolant is open and like, I'm gonna be real. Uh, I don't really like, if it's not open, it's closed. You know what I mean? There's not really like a, there's not really like a make it more open button. There's just a. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Help me, damn it! This is my fault. I pressed things without his fucking approval and he was gone. He wasn't in the room. With the ignition protocol. On my way. You need help to prepare the reactor for pressurizer. Mother of God, we're gonna fucking die. We're gonna die in this place. Necessary volume to operate. You must actuate the valves to add or remove the refrigerant until the operating volume is reached. Turn off condenser flow. I don't even know why these are on. They're not doing anything. Turn them off. Dude. Temperature high, pressure low. We have to do this. We have to make this work. Coolant, we need to find a way to push more coolant into the machine. Generators. Automatic. We need more power in the machine. Hit it! Good. Hit it again! Pressure's dropping, man! Heater's back on. Cooling valve on. I need to find- I need to push coolant into this fucking machine. Why isn't it receiving any? It's something to do with this fucking shit. Core coolant! is not getting pumped! You see, the problem is that the coolant valve has been unreleased. I think I just killed us. Hang on, I'm gonna undo that one. Don't do that one. Man, you must be having a good fucking time watching. Watching while I figure out how to fucking do this shit. I need request controlling and what? 10,000 pr prestige points so he'll help me with this? Do it. I have received an update on my Balance screen. the pressure now for me. I can take control of the pressurizer. Do it. Do it. Do it. Limits. Do it. Stabilize the pressure. Activate. to adjust and check that the pressure and temperature are within operating parameters. How the fuck are you doing it so quick? Were you kidding me? Dude, you weren't even able to do it right. He didn't even do it right. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. You fucked something up. Stabilize it. Taking control of the pressurizer to adjust and check the Al, pressure fix it. and temperature are within operating parameters. Wait. 
Dude. Why you turn off the cooling valve? Why you turn it closed, man? Can you explain that? Did I just start having Minecraft music play in the background? Did fucking Minecraft piano music just activate while I was considering whether or not I was gonna plug the fucking rods in to the chat? I'm about to hit the fucking rods and throw it in the machine. Look, if you don't fucking do something eventually, you look like an idiot for the rest of your life. I'm gonna put the rods in the machine. I'm plugging it. Al, are you with me? Are you with me, soldier? There comes a time when you need to believe in yourself and no one else will. How do I turn the reactor on, Al? Al, how do I turn it on? Operation mode. Nominal. Al. It's been a goddamn pleasure serving with you, man. We are green. Uh, sorry, we're kinda green. Let me just... I don't fucking know how to actually plug in the goddamn thing. How do I fuck do I plug in the goddamn thing? What do I do? Am I radioactive? I'm fine. Fuck. That's not supposed to hit the ground like that. Uh, okay. We don't plug in the control rods yet. Where's the ignition? Huh. Which one of these is it? Do I have to walk in there and fucking turn a key? I can dolage alarms. No electrical voltage. Al? I think our internal power is going down. Because I'm an idiot and I waited too long to turn on the fucking machine. Al, how do we turn it on? Oh. Somehow the coolant got fucked at some point. I'm gonna ask him to help me with that again. I think that might be the problem. I think that might be the problem. I'm gonna have him help me reset it back to normal. And then I'll memorize how it is. Okay. Well, no, that's supposed to be started. I just cut off all condenser cooling flow. Oh, we're he oh, it's fucked. It's fucked. We're fucking dead. Al? How far do you think the run is to the train? Al. How far do you think the run is to the emergency evacuation train? Okay, that's back online. Al, you're not doing a fucking good job. Temperature's perfect, but where the fuck is my pressure balance? I need you doing this for me, Al! I need you to do this for me! Where the fuck even was this thing? Where is it? Where's fucking coolant? I don't even... I don't remember which one of these fucking menus his fucking help thing was. Oh, here we go. Operating assistance. Get back on the fucking pressurizer. Stay on it! Operator, I am 
taking control of the pressurizer to adjust and check that the pressure and temperature are within operating parameters. Ow, you walked away for one second and now there's no power in the cooling turbine. Why did you do this? Get it back on! Now let's see here. What if I just connect this to the network? I know why there's no power in the cooling turbine. Is what I would say. If I knew why. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be on. Yep, ain't no reason this should be off right now. Let me try turning it off and on again. That didn't do anything. Okay, here's what we do, chat. We fumbled around a lot and wasted a lot of time. I think we reset. New game. Because we've burned like a ton of power and we no longer have a way to start the reactor. Essentially, we burned through all of our auxiliary learning how to do it. And I think the issue is we fundamentally like turned one switch and then fucked up. And we had to reset it. And exit game, I'm going to restart. And this time, I'm going to consult the menu that I refuse to consult this whole time, which is the guide that actually also tells me how to turn on the station, which I was missing last time. I will do this right. Did doubters win? No, chat, it's the conditions were always just does it turn on or does it not turn on? If I turn off the stream and it doesn't turn on, that's how... It's a very real possibility I'll never be able to turn it on. <laughs> so, so it's not over yet. I'm not gonna use the guide unless I've like... If I actually use the guide, we'll call that a it's over, I lost. If I have to use a guide to step by step turn it on, you got me, all right? scammed uh go fuck yourself uh anyways we're sticking with what i said uh and your pointless points will go wherever i so choose let's get through all these first oh i can just turn this off now actually we don't need the contextual tips uh let's get the guy on he won't actually help me with any of my organization without my without me wandering around again. But I don't really wanna I don't think I'm gonna need I don't think I'm gonna need him this time. I'm gonna have him help me with the setup. My name is Alan, and I am the operations assistant for the reactor. The plant is ready to go into operation. Although I think I remember how to do it now. Please let me know. Let me just see if I can get one of these green without his help. So first of all I need to activate everything. All these things need to be on. As fast as possible. Let's get them all on. Make sure everything's enabled. Look, chat, I have to be able to do this myself. All this stuff goes on. This time I don't send any fuel rods into the machine. Just activate all of them. Then we'll go to coolant first. I think we want coolant on and rolling. So for coolant, we'll stick with just pump three like it wanted us to. Just pump three, on. Medium speed. Which gets us to 50. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's go to the pressurizer. We know this has to heat up, and it's started on high, so I'm going to trust that high is what it should be. For now. Okay. Now. Uh. I'm going to save. Before I do the next part. Just in case. Now what I want to do is I want him 
operator. No, 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 wrong one. Okay, I did that stuff right. Okay, so that stuff's on correctly or it wouldn't be green. That's what I wanted to check. He can just do that while I do this. It's fine. He'll go off and do his own thing. Those things are green, which means I've done it right. And it, it understands that I did it correctly. Good. Okay. Full heat. Heater's on. It's heating up. It's actually even this time, which means I totally fucked something up last time. <laughs> this time it's straight, uh, which means I did something right this time that I fucked up last time. Uh, next. I think... Oh, God. I think I just watch. I think I just watch. Chat, I think I just watch. How's he doing? 16%. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call him back. I think I just watch this for now. We need pressure to build and we need temp to build. But I think we just leave the valves off. Yeah. Chat, maybe maybe we turned too many things. We assumed these had to be turned. Maybe they don't. Maybe they stay off for now. Maybe that was our problem. We keep it off. Let me turn on my video camera for the core room. I don't want to see anything that stresses me out. Okay. Off does not mean closed. Yeah, that's the thing. I think off... Off does not mean closed. I think off just means it's neither open nor closed, which means it's kind of silly. How the fuck does anyone not blow up a nuclear power plant, dude? Like, really? How the fuck do you not accidentally kill yourself within 10 seconds of being in this place? Like, all these fucking settings are weird. But either way, this is a much cleaner, smooth enable this time, and it looks to be stabilizing. Okay? And I think... Once it's reached it, I want to turn off the heater. I don't think we turn it back on again. Until these things are depleting past the green bars. Alright, we don't want it on, then we'd be burning a ton of fuels. So I think that's good. Because now it's stable and holding that level. Ish. Okay. Um. Next... I'm going to insert... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna insert a fuel block into the core. Wait! 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 Get out of it! Get out of it! Don't do that! Don't do that! Get out! How do I stop it? My mouse is gone. I can't get out of it. I broke the game. I broke it. They have to reload. I wanted to plug in, like, I wanted to plug in the safety rods because I just realized that's probably necessary. I wanted to, I wanted to go over to the safety rods and plug them in as well a little bit. Where's my mouse? Yeah, I broke it. I done did a fuck- I pressed backspace, I fixed it. Okay, what I want to do... Is I wanted to... I wanted to dip these... Like, in the water, a little. So I'm gonna put it at 97%. I want them dipped. Just in case. Now... <laughs> now I'm gonna plug in the fuel rod. One... In the machine. Core must be empty and control rods must be inserted. Okay. So, in that case, I am supposed to have, um... These inserted more. Then. Maybe, like, 90? Does that do it? I don't want to put it at zero. Those would be fully in. 
Extract fuel. Okay, let's try it now. Oh, wait, that's waste. We don't want to do that. Okay, I'll insert it all the way. Okay. All right. I'm plugging them in. Oops. Actually broke it again. And this time it's not work. Oh, I got it. Okay, it's going to zero. I think I'm going to need to turn back on the heat for a minute. Yeah. Heating back on just to get the uh, pressure back to where it should be. Okay, heaters is like a something I just need to check every once in a while. And if I just tick it on for a second, it'll do what it needs to do. Stabilize and then I can just turn it off again. Okay, that's good. We know this now. So I'm just going to turn it back off now that it's middle for now. Okay. Where's my boy? He's 95% done with, like, investigating the area. Okay. Chat, I'm gonna get us a look inside the pool. Alright. The fuel, the safety rods are almost fully inserted. We are going... Operator, maintenance report is complete. Now, you can check it from your town. DANGER POSITION! Uh, okay. Um, I don't think it wants to be fully inserted. Let's put it at 10. Anything more than that is, I guess, danger position. Still danger position. Okay, let's try... 25. Oh. Stop. You know, I'm starting to think that this means that it's 25% in, and 95 is like 95% in, and that's where I should be. As in, I've been removing them from it. But there's no, like, I was hoping this would visually show me the rods. No, those are going in right now, chat. That's going in. So, yeah. Okay, it's 100% in. I've been removing the safety. Okay. I've actually been fully taking them out. Let's turn on the heater one more time. Get it back up to uh, middle green. Heater's not that bad. Okay, now that I know, this isn't that bad. This is not that bad. This part's not bad. Okay. It's at operating temperature again. Now, load it. Control rods are inserted. I'm confused why it's not letting me load it into the core. Do I need to, like, go down stairs and... Oh. Wait, that... Okay, I just have to insert it. Okay. I don't actually have to care about the fuel transportation. Fuel transportation's already here. I'm gonna press it one more time once it's done moving, but then I guess I'm gonna insert it. Dude, that ain't solid green, though. That's all I'm saying, chat. Chat, all I'm saying is it ain't solid green, and that's kind of wigging me out. Okay, so it's already loaded. I'm inserting the core. And it set us to. I don't know. I don't know what I just did. 
Fuel is unloaded. There's nothing in here. There's not. There's definitely nothing in the thing. What if I extract the core? Dude, this reactor won't fucking plug in. Help me. 100%! Oh, god dang it. Well, let's double check the cooling Operator, reactor part since that's D that's disabled. Well, I let this heat up way. again. Okay, I'm gonna set these to 100. The circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers. The circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers is not correct. Okay, man. You show me how to do that while I turn on the heating again and get this set up. To start the circulation of the coolant. Okay. You told me I never set this up, or that it burned all my coolant or something, and it's all gone. Huh. Weird. Oh shit. Turn that off. Okay. My re the reactor core is gonna be perfect in a second and once that's charged technically everything's ready right 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 ow oh my god wait 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 we're getting close it's almost all green we know how to set up reactor core pro like we know how to set up the pressure and that's the hardest one it's nominal I was just looking 50 According to the video game, everything required to start this this thing is ready. Insert the core. Why are you not turning on? Why are you not turning on for me? What the fuck? Uh... Request help. There is no turn it on for me button. Do I have to put a zero in first? Z no, that just closes it. What the fuck? Why? 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 Ow! The reaction says it's ready. Why is the core not going in? Now the heater needs help again. Dude. I mean, chat, I could override it chat <laughs> it'll be, it'd be so easy to override it okay so don't test me wait New operating mode established wait a minute mode. hang on one sec hang on one second what the we just Okay, that- we know there's already f There's fuel- There should be fuel already in it. Co Cause there's something in the core. Insert. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, it's happening! I'm gonna watch it. I'm sure probably close it, actually. Should I close it? Is it happening? Ow? I mean, it inserted. Ow. 
Ow, um, just kind of wondering, uh, what's going on here. Ah, uh, let's see. Are we generating? No, that's internal supply. Why does that say all set? Operative level, low. Nominal. Maybe now I slightly... Oh, what if I now extract it a little? We are initiating controlled fission inside of the core. Activate the blast doors. We are officially controlling fission right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. Mother of God. Probably should have closed the window. I think that I think you're not supposed to be near it when that happens. The reactor has reached critical mass, and its status has changed to reactive. Nice. We did it, baby. We did it, baby. That reactor is on and cooking. The reactor's on. All right, Al. Let's get to fucking work. Connect this shit to the network. We're sending some power out to the people. They need it. Wait, what do we do now? Hang on, Al. Uh, now what? assistance with the stabilization protocol yes on my way you need help to stabilize the reactor for an operating i want to stabilize the reactor core to operational limit is operating below the operational limit okay to achieve the highest efficiency the temperature must be adjusted so All right. the reactor core reaches and okay talk faster talk talk faster al talk faster ow you said nothing you said nothing you said nothing you fucked me turn on the heat Pressure's not at the right thing. We gotta keep heat and temperature at the right spots. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Dude, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna- it's bad now. Now I'm getting- now I'm nervous. Now there's actually like pedal to the metal, there's shit going on. Get that shit turned up. Turn it off again. Oh. Why it fucking bubbling? No, wait. Why is there a fucking bubble? Is that supposed to happen? Is that normal? That's normal? As long as you say it's normal for a nuclear reactor to do that, then we're good. I don't know. Fuck you, dude! The temperature... ...is currently... ...inoptimal. It needs to turn up. The vessel pressure... ...is currently within optimal levels. And the internal temperature is rising to the temperature it should be. Pressure and temperature are all ideal. Fuel factor. I don't know how to fucking read it. Nuclear shell. Nuclear. And pure. Visual from within the plant. Glowy. What do you mean low volume? Low volume generated three. Help! Why are you not helping?
Well, that just needs to stabilize. I think the, I think the generator is, is fucking internal power. I think this part's internal power, so it'll turn off anyways, right? 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 I think that's supposed to be happening still. I think. V low volume steam generator three. What are you talking about? Where the fuck are the generators? Dude, we have to just build temp. See, we just literally got there. We're good, we're fine. I'm gonna ask it to do the last thing that needs to be maintained right now because literally it... Wait, wait, wait. Check the turbines. Operator, you have requested assistance with the stabilization. Yeah, one of them is flashing. On my way. One of them's flashing. Yeah. The stabilizes the energy generation of the turbines. Yeah. The steam turbine yep. is a machine. Shut up, shut the fuck up and just tell me. Point me where to go. Ow, right now. Point me right now, where to go. Through an expansion thermodynamic transformation, the steam turbine transforms the internal energy of steam into rotational kinetic energy. Hurry! If the turbines do not reach the minimum operating power generation, they may need maintenance. You should also check the valves associated with the circuit of the turbines and the condensers. This motherfucker didn't give me any addresses. He just fucking... He just fucking gave me a Wikipedia page and then said, now do it. He literally didn't fucking help me. This dude fucked me. <laughs> this dude just fucked me. Ah. Uh... <laughs> okay. Maybe. Let's go to the steam generators, I guess. Where the fuck are the steam generators? Steam generator. Maybe it's time to order condenser flow. On pump three. It's asking for pump three. Let's fucking give it. Let's order condenser flow to pump three. How's this looking over here? Stuff's fine over there. We're just gonna hope that that's the only problem right now. Hang on. Very high temp! How do I call it? Wait, 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 wait one second. Do I plug in the rods a little? That won't cool it. Wait, but the internal temperature says it's fine. It's just the control rods. The control rods are, t are hot. What if I just pull them out more? What if we pull it out more now? Take it out to 85. That's raising the temperature even more. DUDE HELP ME! Danger alarm. Don't danger alarm me! Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna plug the rods in at 100%. Holy shit, this happened real- this got bad fast. I'm gonna plug it in at 100. Get those rods in! Scram! 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 Scram them! Ow! Fucking do something! Emergency shutdown protocol! 
Activate coolant charge pump! Hit the fucking blast door! Emergency shutdown protocol has to be engaged. Reaction emergency stop! Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, Chet. You guys wait here. I'm gonna take a quick peek inside the reactor room. I don't worry, I've got a hazmat on. You just peek inside. Hit a couple levers. Turn a couple nozzles. Music stopped. Did I save it? Might have fixed it. Relax. Chill out. Okay? The music stopped. Ah, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Is there something wrong? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why were you down there? Get my suit back off. Did I safely disengage the system? There's not an alarm on anymore. I think I'm okay. Yeah, we're okay. I did it, chat. Chet, I'm almost positive there's supposed to be water in there. I'm almost positive there's supposed to be water in that fucking thing. Where did it go? Yo, Al. <laughs> did we piss the water? Oh, fuck. How do I fill it with more water? Ow! Fucking do something! Okay, Al. Uh, what I'm gonna need you to do is, um... I'm gonna need you to help me with, um... Yeah, activating the coolant charge pump on the condensation circuit. Thank you. Operator, you have requested Meanwhile, I... I'm going to extract the core so as to protect us. Okay. For this reason, the condenser must maintain a volume much higher than usual operating. Come with me. I will guide you. Ow. Here it is. We have arrived. Okay. It activates the coolant pump. I'm gonna hit it. We're cooling it. Dude, we're running out of water in that thing. No radiation. No radiation. Uh, we scrammed. We're okay. This shit's cooling. It's cooling. Control rods are cooling. Everything's cooling. We are at an operative- Did we shit out any power, though? Why weren't we connected to the network? Or were we connected to the network? How much power did I ship? Let me check my quota. We may have done something. At noon, we spread out just enough for someone to turn on their fucking phone. 
plugged into the wall for half a second. Fucking Christ. <laughs> but we didn't explode. Jet. How do I get more water in this? How do I, dude, how do we get more water in this? We need to load up more water. How's the nuclear shield? Nuclear shield's fine. I need to know how to, look dude, here's the problem. While yes, the fuel integrity is good, I'm deeply worried, which is why I'm gonna pull it out by overriding the controls and ripping it out. Security restrictions have been overridden. Never tell me what to do again. Pull it out. <laughs> ah! Okay, gamer, let me just go ahead and accept that that one was bad. But we're back here again at where I saved, which was just prior to plugging in that bad boy. Okay? Just prior. So... Now I just fucking plug it in again right away because I know how to do it now. You guys go to 95. 95 was good. And then... Core's already inserted. We're gonna fucking get that shit plugged back in. No problem. Chat. We're gonna get this shit turned on to nominal. We're gonna turn it on again. We're gonna get this bad boy rolling. Operator, if you need assistance to start up the reactor, remember that you can ask me for help at any time. I think, chat, as much as I'd love to say I successfully turned it on and was able to operate it, uh, we have to cash it out to the doubters. Uh, because I literally, the second it turned on, lost complete control of the entire system. This time. I said, I, now listen, I fucking put forward the stipulation that it had to be, I had to have a stable, it had to be something I had control over, and quite literally the second one thing started flashing, I panicked and lost complete control of the entire thing, cascading into me ripping the core out. Uh, so, I mean, let's be realistic. I got old. I did not keep it cool. Okay, so this is heating up, as it should be. So this time, now that we've done that, I'm going to consult the guide over here, okay? I'm gonna consult it a little bit more carefully and see if I can get this done right. Okay, so my mistake, apparently, last time, was that I inserted the core but when the core temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius, I should start condenser flow pump three and turn on to medium speed, which I ended up doing, but a little too late. After that, I want to check the pressurizer heat and put it on low instead of like high and just like keep it stabilized on like a constant thing. Then I want to check the overall level of the core loop and top it up if it's required using cooling circuit main core loop. I fucked that up. I should have used cooling circuit main core loop and I didn't. So that, that fucking cost me was that the rods got overheated. I was supposed to cool the main core. Okay. And then I check. Okay. The last one is that I'm supposed to check generator levels. If it's too high, order slow speed on condenser flow pump. Okay. So I'm going to check, once we're started up, I'm just gonna figure out where this is, steam generator. If these are too high, which it was, our generator was super high pressure and temperature and it was fucking us. If it's too high, we wanna set slow speed on the condenser. 
Because this is what affects... Okay. Okay. I see. So if that gets to be the case, we want to turn on pump three and do it that way. All right. Okay. Okay, we are going to do this right this time, chat. We are going to do this by the books. How the hell did I turn it on? <laughs> Forgot how I turned it on last time. Fuck. We are initiating fission again. Well, I got to turn off the heat. Oh, fuck. Mother of God. And its status has changed to reactive. Okay. I'm going to follow this step by step. We are watching reactor core temperature. And once it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, we hit condenser flow pump. When is it going to tell me what the temperature is? Internal temperature. We're going to do this by the books. People need to charge their iPads and their Apple glasses. Condenser pump enabled. Start. Power three. Medium demand. Check the pressurizer and switch heaters to low if the pressure is low. Where the fuck is that? Okay, yeah, this is again. Good. No screens are beeping. The machine is roaring to life. Next step. Check overall level in core loop and top up if required using cooling circuit. Main core loop. Which is this one. If it gets bad, we tick that to on. If this gets bad, it is not bad. So we are fine. You should be generating power now or very soon. When you're generating over 30 megawatts, you should switch your backup generator to automatic and start exporting some power. Where is my backup generator? I see. How much power have we made? How do I fucking know that? Where is that? Help God. Energy distribution. I don't know where to find this one. Inlet, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, pressure, optimization, reactivity. May it's gotta be main screen. One of these. I'm like pausing, dude, because of how fucking bad it is. If like anything happens while I'm not looking. I'm gonna be real. I don't see anything telling me on this screen how much power I'm actually generating. Oh, yeah, zero. Wake up, goddammit! Come on! Live! Live! Temperature, good. This is the one I need to make sure I'm checking is the, is the fucking coolant pipe over here. The circuit. Core inlet. I think if these control rods get too Okay, I'm gonna turn on. Main core loop, on. Let's let it pump some and see if that moves it down. Motherfucker, it's not going down. Chat, why is the main core loop not fucking cooling it? Oh, it's still warming up. 
dude. I'm gonna need you to pump. I'm not, I don't want to turn it to load yet, because sometimes when I fucking twist those things, it breaks. I'm afraid to turn it. Does the guy fucking say to? Dude, it ain't fucking turned on for him. In the picture book. I'm telling you. Load it! Please? Please cool. Please cool. Cool, please. Cool. Wait a minute. Is there something I missed with this fucking condenser? This thing ain't even- This thing don't even have anything on. Did I miss this? Wait. I'm gonna search condenser. Condenser cooling flow speed. You see, the thing is... Chat. I see this big ass thing. But this condenser... Oh. My. God. There's a reason it's not cooling. It's because it hasn't been turned on. There's nothing in it. Uh, it needs to have char- Oh my god. Okay, god. I see we're having a little bit of fun here. That's fine, I can play your little game. Control rods aren't going up that fast. We'll live. We will live. I'm gonna turn this back to off for now, though. Because I don't think that actually has any bearing on this thing pumping. Right now. I think. I think? Why is this not charging any power, Chad? Operative level is normal. This is happening as it should be, apparently. Turbine generators. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Generate! Wait, the temperature's going up, that's what it needs. No, it is charging, that means it's happening. Chat, that means it's like actually activating. That one's not a bad thing. That means it's got low volume, but it's charging. It's gonna get there. It's just still generating. I think this one might be good. <gasps> ah! Please! 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 What do I do? It's still doing the same one again. It's happening again. Load it! Pump! Why? 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 Why is nothing cooling this? Why will nothing cool my reactor? Why is my reactor not being cooled? Slow. It's said to go slow if the condenser got bad. Slow it. Shut the fuck up. Hold up. I would like you. Fuck, I have to walk around and buy, like, to get all the fucking. 
<laughs> you know what I'm gonna fucking do? I'm just gonna tell it all to go faster. Let's just generate some power before we fucking die. How about that one? I'll show them all. Turn off the coolant! Let's let the machine feed. Let it eat. Let it have a quick snack. Turn it off. We're not going to die, chat. We're not going to die. Besides, look. Nuclear Shield says we're totally safe. If we were in danger, the Nuclear Shield would freaking tell us. We're not. But we will be soon. Oh, I know, Al. I know. Matter of fact, I know so well, Al, that I would like to make sure I press this button here. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! We are doing everything exactly as planned. We're turning it on to maximum power. These people need power. They demand it. They want power so bad, Al, and I don't know how to give it to them. I just don't fucking know how. How's it looking in there? Oh, of course my cameras are off. Ow, ow, ow. I'm afraid there's not much we can do for this place anymore, Al. do what I should have done a long time ago. <gasps> I'm sorry about this, but you couldn't help me. No one can. No one can, Al! No one can! Maybe you should take a quick bath. Alright chat, now I just gotta get on the train and leave. Now I just gotta leave. Alright, Lurker, get on the train and just go, I think. See, my big mistake was not getting 10,000 prestige points before I started. I could have had Al actually helping me, but instead they stood around and did nothing all day. A big shame. Damn. What a world. What a fucking world. Thank God I'm off shift by noon. I can get some lunch. I, th I think I must be by Taco Bell. Yeah. Thankfully. Thankfully, everything should be fine. Let me just check the status, actually. Huh. That temp core is gonna hit fucking 600 any minute now. What's all this here? 
Okay. Time to go. I think. Yep. Man, aren't I such a freaking stinker, chat? Ain't I a freaking stinker? All right. Uh. Energy on. All right. Brakes off. Salutes entire plant. Goodbye, Al. I guess I'll see you when I reload my game after this. There is no imminent danger. Wait, really? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Undo, guys. Undo, guys. Joke's over. Wait, 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 what are you talking about? Open up the door? Hang on, let me just go in and check. I think I just got a JK LOL moment. I think I'm getting fooled. Morning danger alarm. Yeah, that's what keeps making me think I'm about to get owned. Did the reactor just go critical just now? I'll be the judge of that. I'm gonna take a walk down there. Excuse me, Al. I said, excuse me! Let me just go ahead and unplug it. reach it. If I just reach over there, I can unplug the damn thing and we'll fix it. Maybe I can touch the water. Ooh, it's kind of nice. Ow! It's not that bad. Alright, and got it. Alright, let's go. Alright, that should fix it. I just unplugged it. That's how you do it, baby. <laughs> we just saved the world! We just saved the freaking world! Yeah, and now I'll just turn this... What is this? Uh, bypass vent valve. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and bypass that to on. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to a good open. Go ahead and breathe. Is that blue one's water pumps? Where the hell these pumps look like they're going, chat? Where is it? It feels like these should be going somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is this about? Chat. Did, uh, there used to be something here and then it blew up? Because I'm seeing, like, a hole where, like, a big old tank should be. You never bought the turbines. Are you telling me my fucking nuclear power plant didn't come with power generation? That's something I had to buy? You telling me it didn't come with the hang on? I'm Let me just, let me just open up my, <laughs> let me just open up my iPad real quick here. Uh, upgrades of machines, generator sets, steam generators. Oh no, it looks like it's broken. I'm gonna just discard it. No, I can't. Yeah, it looks like what's supposed to be here is a, yeah, like one of those. I think that's like an auxiliary one, maybe. Well, good news is we saved the reactor. It's not getting any worse. Dude, I mean, this thing, this thing is fucking dry. I would say. I'm not exactly sure this thing's actually giving me the right information. That looks fucking dry. That pool is empty. Uh... Danger, always check oil levels. Dude, I can barely breathe in this fucking 
suit. I'm taking it off. I think we're safe. I mean, I think I saved the city. I'm gonna take this thing off downstairs. Like, sure, there's some green here and there, but I think we're okay. Let me just take this thing off. Yeah. I think we're fine. I mean, I'll check it with the old counter before I do anything. Okay, I think that's fair. Look, Chad, it's not about how poorly I ran the reactor. It's about how carefully I diffused the problem. Okay? And, uh, I'm gonna be honest. It feels like I did a good fucking job. I don't know about you. Take off the suit. Yup, safe. Absolutely safe in here. Yeah, no, this bad boy's totally safe. I'm going in there. Didn't decontaminate the suit. We need to be contaminated to need to be decontaminated, you fool. Behold. Music stopped. I'm gonna walk in there and I'm gonna plug back in the machine because that's all you had to do. Chernobyl easily avoided if you just unplugged it. Watch. 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 Watch the Geiger counter. Watch. Watch. What did I say? What did I say? You think I'm not a fucking professional? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? The fuck did I say? You think I'm joking around? Yeah. It's fucking secure. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go plug this back in. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> So I was just slurping up some of the water. Oh, we've reached middle of day. Prepare for peak reactor demand. Okay. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that, everyone. Back to work. Everyone, let's get back to work. Come on now. Back to work, everyone. 10-4. Let's get this bad boy back in the... Let's get this bad boy turned back on. Yep. Crisis averted. We saved the city. Did he remember to turn on the Geiger counter? Dude, I, it's, it is on. It is on. Okay, everyone. So, uh... Good news is... Reactor is finally cooling. Get this shit back to medium. Demand. How's pressurizing? Dude, this thing kept its pressure good, man. You gotta respect it. Well, uh... We're still operating at an excess. Because this shit never fucking sent. It pisses me off, actually. This fucking thing didn't turn on one time. Piece of shit. Connected to the network and everything just doesn't fucking behave. This is me the hell off, you know. I tried so fucking hard. Just wanted to make sure it was on. I'm plugged in. Okay. Damn. I mean, Chabby didn't die. I think I should plug back in my friend. Yeah, I think that's like the real thing. You think I should like plug back in my friend? Dude, I just don't understand why this turbine never turned on. Wait. You're telling me I could hold right click and look at what the light means? 
You're telling me I could have held right click? And no, I can't actually hold it for that. Fuck. So how do I rehydrate the pumps? I think this is an important thing to know. Okay, uh, well, um... Looks like what I gotta do is, um... I don't know, maybe, uh, go down to the pump room? And pump it? Swing on down to pump room, give it a pump? Maybe it needs to be, like, hand-pumped? I don't know. Maybe I, maybe there's, like, a fucking, like... You know, one of those old-timey, like, minecart kinda, like, I gotta pump it up like a bicycle wheel or something? Such a drama queen about it, dude. You know what? Let me just pull this out myself. Let me just... Fucking piece of shit. <sighs> Man. It should have worked fine. I don't understand why it made such a big deal about all of this. Someone failed his OSHA course. Come on, Al. Al, I said, come on! We have to fix this station. And by we, I mean you. Plugging back in your battery. You got a lot of work to do. You got a lot of work to do today, son. You got a lot of work to do. Get ready, you're gonna have a lot of fun today. Wake up. Ow, thank God you're alive. Wake up. I need your help. I need you to run preventative, I need you to run maintenance tasks. We'll start with the analysis of the situation. And anal analyze the situation and let me know what you find. Okay? And while he's doing that, I'm gonna press more buttons in here. Yes. What is this what you? What if we just turn everything off? For now. And the backup. And the batteries. Let's do a full clean star. How can you keep running? Wait, what? There is no internal My dude can talk! I can keep working because I have a separate battery. The engineers who designed me... How can you keep running? Well, at least they thought of one thing right. The internal emergency generator... Two AI are talking to each other. ...activated to supply power to the reactor modules. Huh. Look, we'll turn back on the generators as soon as I'm sure that we're not gonna die, man. Okay? As soon as you get the fucking maintenance report back, I'll let you know what we're doing. But till then... That's like a fast way to kill ourselves, and you know it as well as I do. The reactor core coolant has stopped circulating. That can't be good. Warning. Danger alarm. Oh! No, back, go back down. Go back down. I saw you wiggling up, go back down. It's stable. We're fine, chat. We're fine, 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 we're fine. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, it's not even radioactive. It's not even radioactive. I'm growing a tree in there. Holy crap. So, uh, you know, what's really pissing me off right now is why the fuck is it taking Al so long to figure out what the hell's wrong with this place? I'm gonna do a quick peek in there with the Geiger. I'm pretty sure it's not radioactive. I have to literally force the doors open. I'm locked in here. Fucking locked in. Fucking check this. Fucking hell. 
Jesus. This is Ow's fault. Dude, I think we all know one thing for sure. Ow's fucking fired. Wait, has he even given me an update on the fucking maintenance? 50%. 34% battery? Jesus, this dude. He's coming around with batteries before he's even done. Why the fuck is the door open? I mean, it's clean. This is- this- now yeah, this right here is clean energy. <laughs> Start that this thing might not have batteries. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. I'll just unplug it. Hmm. Yeah. This is dry now. I think I fixed it. Okay. I unplugged it again, guys. We're okay. Huh. If I was in danger, the Geiger counter would be saying I am. You calling the Geiger counter a liar? Oh, ow, thank God. Uh, how's the report going? 71%. I was gonna come back with a really scathing fucking review from me. I got a weird feeling. I got a weird feeling I'm not gonna like what Ow says to me at the end of all this. I should take a shower. You know? I think maybe that'll tell me I'm de I'm contaminated. Oh fuck, I can't even get in there. Without any power, how could I take a shower? You know, this game really feels like it's made for multiplayer, you know what I mean? This game feels like this is made for like four idiots to get like owned trying to play. Alright, ow. It's gotta be mostly done. 86%? Just checking a couple more things. Well, I guess I'll head upstairs. How's it look outside right now? Beautiful day. Really nothing to complain about out here. Operator, the internal motor of the reactor core control rods has stopped working. Without that motor, the control I see. rods will not be able to be adjusted. You must replace the burn plate internal motor. Is that the only problem with the station? Huh. Al, I can't help but notice you turned back on the power without my, uh, permission. Why? Okay, thank you. Core is actually not doing that bad. Uh... Huh. Control rods are actually still fine, too. Uh, oh, there's seven pages. Uh, okay, well, um... Not bad. Not bad. Pressurizer's great. Danger alarm. Shut the fuck up. Uh, condenser's fine. Contaminated areas, zero places are contaminated. It's actually super clean. Um, hazard suit's perfect. Not like I needed it. Uh, generating turbines literally only own the third one, apparently, which is why that's always been the case. We don't own other turbines. Uh, generating sets. Ignoring that. I'm just ignoring that. Uh, emergency batteries are good. Pressurizer heaters are fine. Valves are all fine, too. Alright, just delete it. Yeah, delete it. Delete it. Thanks for nothing. Ow. Are you making those sounds? Jesus, no. Maybe you should, uh... What the fuck are you doing? I think he's, like, repairing things. Damn, he's barely keep- He's trying really hard to keep me alive. Is it fucking jiggling? Hang on, I'm going back down there. Motherfucker, I unplugged you. 
thought I did. Ah! Ah! The floor was so hard, like hot, I fucking actually exploded. It was that hot. I got actually fucking vaporized, it turns out. Okay, well, uh, fuck. Fuck, dude. Send me back in. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, what the fuck is happening? Uh, hang on. Is there a way that I can get this guy... I think I need to buy this. I think what I need to get this place in operating function is having him adjusting the fuel rods. So that he, so that it's not overheating the fuel rods ever. I think that's what I need to do. Is 95% is killing me, but I'm too dumb to do it any different, right? Let me do a quick run. Upstairs and downstairs to get enough money and we're gonna try if that we're gonna see if that stabilizes it Still won't know how to actually send power out of this place, but I'm too dumb to handle all these things on my own I need him doing something Okay Once we get like 10k, I think we instantly we can instantly buy it Oh, whoops, I'm gonna go downstairs one more Outsourcing to chat GPT. Can you fucking blame me? Like I'm getting owned Turns out chat uh, It's not easy to run a nuclear reactor Who would have thunk it? The wobbles bad. Yeah, that's why I don't sprint that much Whoa, Jesus I can move 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 All right, let's get this shit turned on Again. For the third time. Actually, I don't think I technically want that all the way on yet. We leave it- we leave it on the 50. On both of these, but we don't actually turn them on yet. Heat. Is on. It's almost where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna save again right now. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna have him manage the entirety of the control rods once we start. He's gonna manage the entirety of it. Okay? All right. Cut that to off. Lower it now to low. Once it's gotten back to operating pressure. Cause that heated up the vessel, it heating up. We'll let it cool for a second, then we'll turn it all on. Again. All right. It's time, for the third time, to activate the machine again. Okay, man. Here I go. I think. I don't know, I keep forgetting where the fucking button is to actually turn it on. I just like keep following through the same kind of cycle and then I get there eventually, you know? Nominal mode. Okay, I'm gonna do one quick check. Pressurizer claims it's not good. Cooling towers claim they're somehow not good. Why? Help me. What's wrong with the cooling towers? 
On my way. What's wrong with it? Help to stabilize the circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers. Explain. The circulation of the coolant towards the cooling towers is not correct. All right, explain. Come with me. I will guide you. Thank you for guiding me. Here it is. We have arrived. Activates the circulation. You just need to be on to start the circulation of the coolant. I'm gonna save again right now. Ah. Okay, that's good. The fuel rods at 100% is total bullshit. The fuck is ignition? I keep on forgetting. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so, why am I so stupid? All right, ow. Where the fuck do I turn this thing on again? I've forgotten it every time. I don't know how I keep forgetting, despite the fact that, like, it's... How did you forget already? A lot's going on, man! Okay? A lot's happening! There's a lot of shit happening for me! I already inserted the core. Oh. I'm saving. This is it, man. Real deal. Okay, controlled fission. I want to watch it from down there this time. I want to be in the room. I'm going to be in there when it happens. I'm going to look inside the pool. I want to be there in the system. Do you need a suit for that? Believe it or not, no. The reactor has reached critical mass, and its status has changed to reactive. Okay, man. Here's what I need you to do. First of all, don't come here again. From now on, you specifically adjust in stabilization of control rods by... I have received an update on and you activate that. That's what you do. That's your fucking job. You handle control rods forever. Take control of the rods. I'm counting on you, man. What did you just fucking say to me? Why? Did he just fucking decline? He said, nah. I'm just gonna pull it out more, dude. I think that's like the way I'm supposed to. I think I'm gonna lower it to 80. Look, we can sacrifice a little bit of efficiency. I'm gonna tell him to do it again. Do it again, right now. Operator, I'm taking control of the control rods. Dude, why is it so fucking hot in the control rods? This cannot, mustn't happen again. The difference between the current core temperature and the operating temperature is too high. You fucking killed me again, Al. What do I fucking pay you for? Al! Al, what do I pay you for? I have an idea. I'm just gonna put on a hazmat suit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the rods out. Like I'm just gonna really Warning, danger alarm. No, reset that. I'm gonna just take it out. What are you all scared? What are you all scared of something? We're 
we're going to simply put on a hazmat suit and I will just charge the power fast enough that we finish our whole day of work in about 15 minutes. Bada bing, ship it. Ship it. Generate faster. Faster now. Faster, I need you to generate faster. Yes. Yes, this is one of the first times you've ever generated. Yes. Yes. Yes, excellent! It's happening! It's happening, Al! Aren't you proud of me, Al? Aren't you fucking proud of me? Look at what I've done! Look at what I've made! You doubted. You doubted me! Generate faster. I said... Generate faster! Turn on the heat! Yes, we're finally generating power. Yes. We've only- Chat, don't you see? We've only met 2.1% of the demand! The demand is too high! I don't know what they're doing in these fucking houses! What do they need this power for, Al? Al! What do they need it for? Why would they need all this power, Al? We have to secure the vessel. Engage! Cooling valve! Open! Vent valve! Open! you for your work. You believed in me when no one else could. And I swear to God, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die meeting our peak demand before we do it. I won't let us blow up before then. I will keep us exactly within safety parameters. And now, I close the valves completely. pressure back up. Yes. Seriously shock the system. How we doing anyways? Al? What the fuck's going on over there? You know, believe it or not, there's actually no radiation in that room. It looks like there is. But there's not. And Al would back me up if I went in there. It's a lot of goo. It do be hot, but it do be just goo. 3.7% of the daily compliance was all we could fucking manage before it all went to shit. How's the radiation? It's fucking fine. I, it's baffling how safe this place is. Like, it's actually hard to kill yourself in this fucking, in this goddamn nuclear power plant. It's hard. It's hard. Remove the control rods? You think I haven't already taken them out to 100% removed? Yeah, those bad boys are at zero. All I mean, all I can do for these right now is scram them. I don't even know what that does. Huh. I scrammed them. Okay, Al, so I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm actually off shift now, Al. Um, so I'm gonna go. What? Okay, Al. 
so I'm going to need you to describe to me through the operating assistant on how to prevent a nuclear meltdown. I have an idea, Al, and it's crazy, but it might just work. Anything? Okay, Al. I'm gonna try another one. Keep your fucking... Keep your... Keep your shit together, all right? This could get crazy. There's nothing we can do for this place, Al, so I'm gonna leave you here, okay? I'm gonna go get help. <sighs> what was that? I'm out of here. Cat, I get the weird feeling at the end of today. I'm fired, and I'm fired bad. Good news is, radioactively, this place is pristine. Couldn't have a single complaint about it. I'm gonna take a trip inside the reactor room and see if there's anything I can do on the inside. If there was ever a time to be a hero, it's right goddamn now! I'm going in! How bad is it? 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 It can't be that bad. Is it bad? It's actually not very reactive. Huh. I have one plan. Okay, well, apparently I'm being told to evacuate entirely now. Uh... I don't think there's much I can do, Dad. I think it's uh, pretty much over. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna quickly go into the storage room. If I can find it. Ah, oh, here it is. Bypass. Off. We have to turn on. We gotta fucking flood this bad boy with coolant. That or I just turned it off. All the coolant. Guys, I think, uh, I think I just removed the coolant. But to be honest, this bad boy, I mean, it's done. So I'm going to get out of here, I think. I think I'm going to go. Okay, Al. Uh, good luck, man. <clears throat> no, I almost feel bad for these idiots. These idiots that live in this town. Almost. Al, you know it. Beep. You know it. It's just a shame there's no space on this shuttle for the two of us. It's the damn shame. Energy. On. Let's get the fuck out of here. The brakes! The brakes! The brakes! The brakes! The brakes! Go! 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 Ooh, we did not make it with very good time! Hang on, I got a text. I got a text, I think. 
I got a text at the very end. I think that was my boss firing me. I think I, think I, got, a, I, think I got a text from my boss telling me I was a fucking <laughs> I was fucking fired. And now the screen is just black. I think I died. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Chat, at some point I'm going to play this game again, and I will actually know how to use this fucking reactor. And, yeah, like, look, dude, say what you will about it being a stream of me just staring at fucking pressure meters and shit, but, like, I had fun. I thought it was fucking fun. I thought that was, like, silly. That was, like, a, that was, like actually, like, just really cool to play. Even though I'm an idiot. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any more tonight because, uh, I, I, I don't think I'm skilled enough to do more tonight. I think I got owned. This game could, you, dude, this game would actually be fucking sick with multiplayer. I don't know when it came out. It's not an early access. Uh, it came out a couple months ago. They still update it, like, pretty regularly. Actually, not really. They updated it last in May. Actually, wait, no, that's really regular. That's a couple weeks ago. Yeah. They updated it relatively recently. But, like, uh, some kind of multiplayer version would be fucking incredible. That would, like, absolutely make this game insane, honestly. Several people in chat said they're planning multiplayer. It makes sense with all the, like, stations for uh, hazmat suits and stuff. Dude. Honestly. Second, there's multiplayer. I'd be back in there again. I'd be bringing like a friend in. That'd be fucking badass. Put it in VR too. That's too many things to ask the devs for though, you know. But that'd be great. That'd actually be fucking awesome. But yeah. Chat, thanks for coming on by. Sorry it's a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm still in my, I'm still in my sleepy arc, you see. But uh, this was, a, I had a lot of fun. This was a good time. This was a real good time. And I would have continued for another hour or two if I wasn't getting hard gate kept by one uh, bad dial. If I wasn't getting hard gate kept by one bad dial and not, you know, absolutely owned. God damn. Bro, you're a streamer. You sleep 12 hours a day. I get like seven hours if I'm lucky lately. If I'm lucky. And most of that's that kind of seven hours when you look at the clock and you're like, I remember half that time I was like staring at the ceiling or doing something else or like I looked at my phone for a minute or I got up and like wasn't really like like I got up went to the bathroom or something it's like that's seven hours where it's like I was in bed for seven hours my body was on the mattress for seven I think you know what I mean so yeah I'm coming I'm getting better though it's I am getting better I'm not as like last week was really bad this week is like I'm swinging back around I is I I it's pretty obvious that I'm like I'm dialed in I'm not phoning in the streams or anything but my like be, the length of time I have before my eyeballs are just getting like fucking drew like just drowsy is like sometimes like landing in four hours or so which is why I'm cutting these streams off at around four hours more regularly lately than I have in the past. But yeah, we'll be we'll be streaming through the week. We'll be doing streams all week. Uh for I think the next uh yeah. Next solid stretch of days. So keep your eyes peeled. Lots of stuff coming out. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. ish EST. So thanks for coming on by. Thanks for the gifted subs and donations and bits. I do appreciate it very much. So thank you. Especially in these trying times where Twitch is trying to own me. Don't be shocked if I switch back to a donation format, by the way, that's totally off of Twitch's site. Considering they're trying to own me, I may pivot towards encouraging things that are not subscriptions and bits. Because, um, uh, fuck them. Uh, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Figure that out when we get there. But thanks for coming on by. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night. Laters.